Hello. Can I get a yup? Can I get a yup, yup? No, the whole audience. Give me a yup. Hello, gang. All right. It's October 22, 2018, from the Diamond Tap Saltwater. Here we are. Welcome to MacArthur Park. Once again, Harmontown is in session. Hell yeah. It's good to be back. I missed you all. Let's bring out Spencer Crittenden. You got that bag. What you got in that bag? I don't even know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we got backstage, Spencer. We got a mayor. His name is Dan Harmon. Oh, damn. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. yeah. Yo. 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 My raps are tight because they're slow. When you rap, you have to know the next thing you're going to say. So my raps will be good today because the beats per minute are 32. So I always know what I'm going to do. I said hip. Hop, hippity hop, <laughs> always rapping. I never stop. The other day, I went outside. I fucked your mama's pussy. That's why it's wide. I looked at her and I said, <sighs> bread. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. It's like I never left. Just, just slow it down, and you'll be a rap master. Uh, you'll never screw up. Uh, that was flawless. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited. I was just, I was just talking to our guest backstage about about all of the things that, but between he and I, like, but all the things that we, we were like, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I don't want to talk. And it's like, what, are, I, what about this thing? Oh yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> like, all right, I'll see you out there. <laughs> like, it's funny. Um, they're just personal things that were like, uh, it, it, it's not, it's not juicy stuff. It wouldn't be fun for you if we talked about it. It was just a funny conversation to have. Like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, and also we won't talk about that. No, okay, I guess I, I guess you'd have to be there. <laughs> our, our guest is Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I, I get all my news now. My 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 uh, I have I have one social media outlet, which is my Instagram account. <laughs> I uh, I get all my news from uh, Dave Klein when I'm doing my like uh, tummy crunches. So I know now. Currently, what I know is that I know that Jay Z and Beyonce have 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 cut it off with Kanye. Yeah. Whatever whatever supply line they had moving between their Fallout Four settlements, <laughs> there's no more line there on that Pip Boy map. Have you guys used the Pip Boy app on the on the iPad when you're playing Fallout Four? It's exciting for like ten seconds, <laughs> and then you realize you're like, well, this is okay. This is more. This is like a the weirder version of hitting the B key, like 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 you're not. It doesn't. It's exciting for a second because you're like, oh, you can do all the shit on your iPad. It's, I applaud that. I love that. I like that. <laughs> it's better than that Rockstar games. Like oh, you can train your dog if you tap on it, and then when you get back in the game, you get like a dog turd or something. I, I like. There's been a lot of attempts to like fuse your handheld devices with your. Um, what the hell are you talking console. about? I have no, I, 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 I have, well, I, that's I have a legitimate no... question, but not in that tone of voice. <laughs> like mean, you don't have I, a right no, to be that no. angry that you don't know what I'm w talking about. W w walk me into your world. I, I don't know. Like, I, do you expect me to understand anything? No, of that? I expect nothing of you. I don't even expect you to show up. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Who are you? Why are you white again? I'm the. <laughs> 
I, I'm the white. I'm the white. Why are you and dressed Johnson? the same but white? <laughs> why are you guys white? I know. I, I, I think the show's better when Brandon is here. I, I love I, Brandon. I love Brandon. I miss Johnson. him already. I told him to come tonight and be there. He's like, nah, man. <laughs> Yeah, because he doesn't want to hear these passive aggressive like like hoots and hollers they give you when you come back. You know, you're che- you're che- you're cheering the bad dad. How do you think that makes mom feel? It's like she was here for you all three weeks, like making I, soup. And- I would, I I was on the road waking up early in the morning and watching you bench press. That, that's what I fucking did. And now you're a skinny Dan Harmon. And wh- wh- where did Dan I'm Harmon go? In. I've been eating a lot of tacos. I had a, I have a, I, I, I don't have it anymore because I've eaten like uh, two pizzas and, and uh, I had tacos tonight. Uh, but I had it for a second. I did take a picture of it, but I didn't Instagram it. I have like the shadow of a half of an ab. I think. Yeah. Emerging. Like, like I. Oh yeah. I, you won't, you won't see it anymore. But it was like uh, everyone. I'm getting there. Can we see it? When I, I you, you, you won't you, you see it anymore. See it. <laughs> but when I, I just <laughs> like somewhere around there, it's like when I, <laughs> if you make the images combined ha- from each eye. <laughs> there. Oh no. <laughs> hurry up! Hurry. Up. <sighs> <sighs> What are you doing? Is, is it? Are you writing he's, a check? He's cross hatching. <laughs> I I, I <sighs> All right, you gave me an abs. He gave. <sighs> he gave me an abs. I don't want to steal your glory or anything, but I was laying in bed this morning and I looked down, and one thing of my like just one sixth of my stomach looked like looked a slight bit defined under the morning light, and I was like, "What is happening? Is this an ab?" Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like like they said, as abs they come in, they don't come in w- one ab. No, it's like hair time. on your it's beard. Like you can you can have a quarter ab. Yeah, I, I, I th- you can I, have I, a one pack. And also, it makes sense that that when you're on the verge of getting a quarter ab, that it's going to be like poking its head out like a turtle, like 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 it's, it'll, it'll it'll be there and then gone. I'm sure you didn't see one when right. I lifted my shirt up, because I don't see it every every time. But right. I'm slowly. Like it's, it's gonna keep it's the frequency with which you can see it will continue. It'll increase. And by 2023, I'm gonna, I've I've revised my goals. I'm not gonna look like Chris Pratt by January. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm convinced that there's CG and steroids involved in that process. That I won't I won't touch. I'm not high roading them. I just think that it's it's uh, a lie. And uh, <laughs> but my new goal is uh, uh, original Captain Kirk. Back in the day, uh, nice. When you oh, could yeah. just that, that, that kind of or like barrel chested, like Gil yeah. Gerard, Buck Rogers, yeah. Uh, uh, like when you, when it, when it, when a man would take his shirt off if he was the lead in a show, but he could just he could just have the torso it looked like a can of soup. <laughs> just was a, it just looked like a cylinder. Yeah. And that was considered being fit. Yeah. Um, if you, the absence of anything flowing over the belt was okay. I, and also they would just wear these big belts. Like if they, they would take their shirt off because like the insect queen would, I demand a gladiator for my satisfaction. And then the gladiator outfit would conveniently involve a, a belt the size of a shirt. <laughs> Who is that handsome specimen? He is an earth man. Impressive, yes? <laughs> You guys don't know how to get down? Get down? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. This is the 25th century. Get down. Buck Rogers. Uh, we've discussed this before. If you watch the pilot for Buck Rogers, w- watch it and, and indulge me in a theory. I've never looked this up. I'd rather just entertain the theory. If you watch, the, if you, if you, there was a show in the 80s called Buck Rogers. It was, uh, there was this guy, Tweaky, it had a penis head, it was a little, little, little robot that had a, had a penis helmet head thing, and uh, it, it, if you watch the pilot, it seems clear to me that uh, the character of Tweaky d- d- was not voiced by Mel Blanc as he became, like, that's what Tweaky became, as Buck Rogers would go, Come on, give me five, Tweaky, and Tweaky would go, that's right, Buck, like, get down. And then, but I think if you watch the pilot, it's clear that this like thing is just supposed to walk around. But then they 
because it's not doing anything. But then they like they watched it in post, and I think the producers were like, "This fucking sucks! Like, what is this little dick robot walking around?" <laughs> And then they brought in the voice of Bugs Bunny. And like, yeah, you know, so he's just walking around doing nothing, but he's saying random shit that's like squeezed in between other wait, dialogues. Wait, 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 like, for real? For, and they don't establish, it doesn't say like, oh, I spent I spent the night crossing his circuits or I spilt some Michelob on his circuit board. <laughs> Oh, you've infected our robot with 20th century jargon. There's no addressing it at all. It's just that the robot is just like going like, me, 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 that's getting jiggy with it. But it's like walking through and they're like, what the fuck is he, why did wait, he wait, say that? For, for, wait, for real, it, uh, it, me, 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 me. He, he would say look, modern stuff. You think that was a, like a... a I think it was an afterthought. I think, I think that was, they shot notes. the pilot. And then before they got the pilot pickup or after they got the pilot pickup, but before they shot the rest of the shit, they retooled the character in post by adding, like, what if he was saying all the crazy 20th century shit? What? I, that's my theory. Just watch it, see if you agree. Or look it up, which I refuse to do, because who cares? Once you learn the truth, who cares? His name was, tw his name was Tweaky? Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah his name was Tweaky. <laughs> I mean, that, that's 21st century. He's fucking, he's just a meth fucking guy. Yeah, he's actually named, like, one of our fans. Yeah, and, like, and, like, and, he, <laughs> and he, he looks like our president's dick. Our pre cause he's cause it's silver? What no, he he looks like a little mushroom. He looks like Toad. Yeah, but what wait, he looks like the president's dick? He just looks like a dick. Wait, why is it the president's dick? No, be because Stormy Daniels said our our president, Donald Trump, his dick looks like Toad from oh, Mario Kart. Well Kart's. see, I don't know. I'm not on Twitter. I don't know these things. <laughs> I, do, I get the Dave Klein has to pick which things he's going to distract. I know that Jay Z has called it quits. He's not endorsing Kanye anywhere. That's what I know for this week. Sorry. How many uh, how many squats can you do? I don't, dude, squats are for fucking <laughs> <laughs> squatters. <sighs> All right, one more thing, and then we'll bring in our guest. So uh, social media. <laughs> so I. Uh, so I, I, I Instagrammed, I Instagrammed my uh, lyrics to uh, my uh, Nigel. You know, Nigel had stomach surgery a couple times. What? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, because he, he, he keeps eating things that aren't food. Who knows? I don't know. I've had two rounds where, you know, and the, the, so I don't know, a sketchy-ass veterinarian, they go, okay, he's going to eat this new stuff or whatever, this, this special stuff. It's called Royal Canine. I think that's how you pronounce it. It doesn't matter. That's his special dog food. I don't know from nothing. I'm just like, all I know is I feed my little guy royal canine. When I feed him, I, I, I riff the jingles. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm dishing it up. And so then I, I was proud of one of my riffs, so I recorded it. Like, this is my jingle for royal canine dog food. I have no master. I am my own. I walk with no leash. I walk alone because... I'm a royal canine. I only sit on thrones. I am a royal canine. I hold the golden bow. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's very supportive, thank you. So then I'm like, I, I let it sit for three days as I, I, I do this. I, I go, I'll throw out a gram, a golden gram. And, uh, and then I'll be like, oh, I'm not really active in social media anymore. I want to be happy. I'm 45. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't. I, my self-esteem requires me to just output and not input. But then I'll like go back to the crab trap and I'll open it up. I go like, because this is morbid curiosity. I'm like, how can you turn, how can you turn this bad? Like, are the, is there going to be Nazis saying like, too bad your dog's a cuck? Or like... <laughs> Your dog's only with you because you're fucking rich and you fucking, uh, the dark web has evidence that you fucked that dog. And <laughs> like, like what, how are they going to ruin this for me? And I, 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 predict, I said out loud to Cody, I ran through every single one. I was like, that dog's too hot for your girlfriend. Or is that, <laughs> like, like how, how are they going to get misogynist, racist, political? Like, like what are they going to do? And then when I, the only one that I didn't predict, of course, why didn't I predict this? It was just like immediately, I was like, that's the sh that's sh dog food is poison. You need to feed your dog better food than that. And then people responding, they're going, why don't you fucking leave him alone? What the fuck? What are you, an expert in what dog food is? I was like, yeah, I am. I'm an expert. You need to know that shit's packed with the carbohydrates and you need to give them carrots and food. 
I've never seen, there's like 20, there's like, there's a person in there that's like, like just start. they were like, this is my platform, this is my issue, like I am going to talk about what Dan Harmon's dog is eating, and then there's all, enough people like, like, like trying to knock their hat off that they're like having like more excuses to type even more, their comments get longer and longer, it's like you're, I was like, this is unbelievable, hey, I, said, I, I just wanted to make this observation. And I know, I know, the reason I want to make the observation is because I know that I'm going to suffer for making it. And that, that, that I don't know, I guess I'm self-destructive. Like, doesn't everybody see, like, come on. <laughs> don't you, don't you, don't you, do you think it's really a coincidence that, that the people that are the most passionate about animals are, they have the worst social skills in the world? <laughs> Like, 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 do we really, I mean, can we not talk about that? I just, you don't have to hate animals to observe the fact that the people that love them so much that they get angry and spit in your face are like, I don't know what chicken laid what egg, but I bet they could tell you what a chicken should and shouldn't do. And, <laughs> and do, don't you think that it's possible that that cycle started before they, do you think that they were like, super chill and tactful people that were like definitely had like supreme interfacing and networking skills with their, their colleagues and their species and then they gave all of that up when they realized how important animals were or do you think it, it might be the other way around <laughs> we're allowed to say that about video games sh ships in bottles stamp collecting like we 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 all we go like but if you say that about an animal lover, your house could get blown up. <laughs> like, it's like the implication, like, and it's like, by the way, man, come on. Like, my hat goes, like, did, did, <laughs> it, 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 the requirement of being a hero has to be more than saying, I think dogs are good. <laughs> We have to raise the bar on that. You have to beat a steam engine while you're saying it with two hammers or something. You have to like risk something. You can't just be like, I love that dog. Yeah, we all do. He's bred to be adorable. Like, he, there's this 5,000 year process of throwing the ones that weren't adorable on a campfire. Like, like it's a literally eugenics project of like, like, like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a genetically malleable fucking like beast that we found in the wild that reflects our human narcissism. Uh, it, it, it is, it is an experiment in how up our own asses we are. It, 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 it if, yes, we love it. It's just, uh, yeah, I, like, here's some other things I love. My keychain, Pokemon, uh, curtains, light, uh, a glass of water after a hard walk around the block. Dude, you're allowed to love those things. Like, but don't, why are you yelling at people about it for? Okay, let's bring out our guests. All right. I, I put it. I put it in the same column as you know. It's like, like, like people are. Hey, oh, I'm. Re if you're really proud of your gender or your race, it's like, yeah, okay. Well, so let me guess. You, not a lot of other cards in that Uno hand. Like, like. <laughs> Like, it's, the jig is up. Come on, man. I'm so proud to be white. Yeah, what else have you done today? All right, our next guest. Uh, our next guest. <laughs> our next guest has appeared at colleges and... Um, uh, he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a friend. I want to I always say he's an old friend because I've, I've 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 known him for so long. But like everybody else that comes on the show, it's like we're all workaholics. We never actually see each other. We don't have any actual friendships outside of the, when we're talking in microphones. But uh, just welcome the amazing Brett Gelman and let's uh, get to know. <laughs> Hey. So I told you, I said backstage, I said, Don't, there's no format, and I'm a, horrible, right. ho I'm a horrible host. And you said, Well, the, I'm, well I'm an equally as horrible guest. Yeah. <laughs> no, but guy. I'm a fan of the show, so I know, I know the drill. You really listen to this piece yeah. of shit? <laughs> I mean, you know, just to get my mind uh, off myself or give myself the illusion that I'm getting my mind off myself. 
When no, we, I love it. When I love we, it. When we moved to this venue, the Dynasty Typewriter, uh, owned by the uh, uh, Genji Cohen, uh, 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 we were picking a. You had been here already. You were yeah. like, You were in the cupboards when we were touring the house. Right. Like, What's this? Is Brett Gilman's in here? Uh huh. Yeah, I did uh, a bunch of shows here when it when it first was opening. I love it here. And uh, but then it was just whoa, what way was, too demanding, way what, too demanding to be putting up a show what, every what, week. What, what did I miss by not seeing your uh, show? Well, um, was... there would always be a theme, and uh, it would it would somewhat relate to that theme, and I'd just basically be an asshole for uh, two hours. That no, but like bring out bring out stand ups should... and things like that, and uh, no, like I I showed well my mother when I was when I was uh, bar mitzvah age. She sent these letters out to all of these uh, comedians that she got like this big address book from this dude in Vegas. Like when and, you were uh, a kid, like she was. Yeah, when to I was a kid. You. Yeah, and I mean, I always wanted to do. Do you, you want know. a drink, by the way? No, I'm okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, I want one, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you want me to have five of them? Yes, I do. Okay. I right. do. Well, I want you to have five tied. of them for me. For me. No, I can't. I'm, aller- I'm physically allergic to it. Oh, no. Oh. I can't do it. So you get all red in the, the face? Jewish, the... I know. The Jewish organs start to shut down. <laughs> inbreeding, people. Inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people in the shtetl in the old country. You had to compromise. You lucked out. Uh, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't want. You, want, you don't want a hollow leg genetically. I don't think that's like a gift. Right. No. It can, it'll help you win a couple contests from the ages of thirty to forty, but then uh, the rest and, is all credit and, card debt. And if there's anything I do, it's win contests. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean like the old thing, you know, like we associate yeah, no, like, hear. oh, he drank. I drank him under the table and stuff like that. You oh get, right. You get, a, you get a couple of thrills. Yeah. Where you're like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I, I fucking drank that dude under the table. Right. Right. Like you get like three of those, and then exactly. the rest. Is just you have like uh, uh, I think it, it seems the the uh, the uh, ethnicities that are that can hold their liquor uh, the best seem to also have these uh, eraser moles that grow off of their body. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like an Eastern European thing. Right. Anyway, yeah. sorry. What were you talking about? No, sorry. I got <laughs> your mom. Your mom. No, wrote I got these some letters. skin tags too, though. I do have some <laughs> skin tags, so I'm I'm fucked on that that count as well. No, but she sent letters to all of these comedians with, and she got. Their headshots too from this guy, right? Uh, and sent them a letter. You're my son's favorite comedian. Will you sign this picture and put in the self-addressed envelope? Because uh, your mom, for his bar mitzvah. your mom was like, like it's was all, Jewish. It's all about connections and stuff. She was it was like, all about yeah. She was like, and will you hire him someday? Right. Yeah. And, and will you make mom, his pay equal to yours? Was your what? Mo- was your was your mom <laughs> in the business? In any not at way? all. Not at all. What did no. she do? Um, well, I guess in a way she's in the business. She's an agent for photographers for advertising. But I don't think was she doing that? No, she was. I think by the time I was bar mitzvah, she was showbiz adjacent. She was definitely she's, showbiz she, adjacent. She knows the smell of the lime in the limelight. Right. And she contributes to the agency that tells showbiz what to do. Right. The advertising agency. She, she certainly knows as a photographer. She's like, look, I could point this thing at a daddy long legs or a mountain. Right. And I'll either be Ansel Adams or uh, Oprah. Exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Either who's, way, I win. I don't know who's either famous way. for daddy long legs photos. <laughs> Oh no, Oprah actually. <laughs> she was, she has was a series big, of famous she, Daddy Long Legs in, 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 uh, in, in her book, Take a Walk, Daddy. Um, <laughs> my journey from passion to professionalism. Um, she talks about the heartache of having to turn your back on what you're truly good at and yeah. what really fulfills you for what makes money. And she was oh, like, right. I was never born to be a talk show host. I love taking photos of Daddy Long Legs. Yeah. No, in her rider, whenever she's a guest anywhere, she <laughs> it's in her rider that there are. 20 daddy log legs in her dressing room along, along with three different kinds of cameras. And that's how she warms up, apparently. She's one of those snobs that'll quickly <laughs> remind you that those aren't spiders. Yeah. And, she'll, yeah. and, and if, you, if you even go near that fucking myth about how they're actually the most toxic uh, insect in the world. Is that but, not true? Yeah, it's totally not true. Oh, really? Yeah. It's one of those things like the 100th monkey thing or the, it's just like, you know it's not true, so you don't look it up, and then you look it up, and of course it's not true. The what month, happens uh, to every 100th monthly? Well, put, 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 put hey a pin guys. in that, because I just want to share in case they haven't heard I'd it. I'd like to I talk to you fun, about It's marijuana. a fun myth the idea that Daddy Long Legs, you guys know what Daddy Long Legs are, right? Everybody knows that. Uh, uh, the, 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 the the myth was is that they they have they have they're poisonous, but 
and they actually, their poison is actually, could kill you. It's actually the most toxic poison per drop right. capita. But they're stingers, uh, But too. they can't penetrate human skin. So yeah. if they ever were to try to kill you, they would just never be like uh, giving uh, 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 the son of Sam a wiffle ball bat. Like, uh, it's but just, the monkey, uh, though, what's the monkey one? What's that? What's the hundredth monkey? Okay, the hundredth monkey thing. Jeff, you know that one. Yeah, you, you, you introduced monkey. me to that one. Uh, that's the theory that that th there, there was monkeys on an island and they they learned how to take a a, a, a potato and and they, they found out there was a star. You t uh, do you want me? To, uh, do you want me to grab it? Take uh, it. Uh, 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 grab. You might grab this baby. I, I, want, I want you to reach in and grab. Yeah. It, it seems it seems like your pinchers aren't penetrating my uh, epidermis. Like. <laughs> I know the information you got could fucking that blow my mind, long but legs I'm not up, feeling the yeah. pinchers. <laughs> that was but, the daddy long legs the, of information. The, the, the idea that <laughs> any, any community of animals that start learning one new trait, that across the world, right. there, there's no way they could have communicated. They it all was a, it was a, it. was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, the, the legend was that there was an anthropological or whatever you call it when it's monkeys, a monkological. Monkological. Um, primatological, like, uh, um, the, uh, the watchtower, like, on a, it was like in an archipelago or something, they were, like, monitoring this monkey population, and the monkey population would eat potatoes, and then, and the, and then they, they, they observed a monkey, like, w w dropping its potato in some salt water, um, and, and then fishing it out and eating it, and then observed it, like, being blown away by both the, a cleaner potato and a salted potato, and then observed it teaching a friend monkey. All of this scans with what we know about monkeys. They're actually quite smart. They could write Hamlet if you gave them enough time um, <laughs> and space and typewriters. Uh, they, 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 but then the, the, the hundredth monkey principle is sort of a s pop science like X factor principle that says that these people were watching this a group of monkeys on one island, and that when the hundredth monkey learned to wash their potato, that spontaneously an unrelated research or unconnected like research tower watching the same species but a completely unconnected uh, island of monkeys, that they spontaneously began washing their potatoes uh, without any causal thing. So the hundredth monkey concept is the idea of genetic uh, Wi-Fi of like uh, learned, Every, learned, but it's a myth. But it's a myth that never happened. Yeah. Every hundred monkey is psychic. <laughs> it's I, a, I, it's I, th a, I think it's the idea that that like uh, like evolutionary like like why is like when enough of a community learns something, it it, it becomes global. Because like it was like an evolutionary thing that was going to happen anyway. Right? Yeah, I think the idea would be with some of this stuff, which I think it's important to stay open to, because God knows, before Einstein, they 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 believed in this shit called the ether. They had to. It's what filled in all of the blank spaces. When there's that many blank spaces, why does light behave this way? So scientists in the modern world, a world that had gasoline watches. <laughs> Uh, not quite television, but boy, if you saw one of these people in a time travel town, like you wouldn't, they wouldn't be an alien. This is, this is like this is the fucking 20s, and people believed in this like interstellar jelly that we couldn't see or detect called the ether. That was the thing that explained why, if you turn on your flashlight in a boxcar that's traveling, that the uh, that a person observing the boxcar will see the light that uh, move at a different whatever the fuck that whatever the whatever the whatever the blank spaces were and all the questions that we needed to answer about light. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I can't wrap my brain around even the questions that they're asking, so I don't blame them for inventing this thing called the ether. They're like, well, that's the ether. They, they, they would say, when you, if, you, if, you, if you're driving in a boxcar, that it's, it's filled with ether, which we can't, we can't measure. It doesn't weigh anything. It's just like this jelly that travels with the boxcar. Why, so the, why are people driving in boxcars? So, so like, because, it's, it, because they didn't have, because they, they were trying to illustrate that, you know, you know the old stand-up joke? If you're traveling at the speed of light in your car and you turn the headlights on, what happens? Right. So, like, that's an... It starts with a legitimate question that, that they really what, had. What, what happens? Well, theoretically, would... Yeah, I don't know. Do the headlights fall off? Do you... <laughs> does the... Do, 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 do you get younger? Does the light turn into a Who candle? Who did that joke? Who did that joke originally? Who did it first? Yeah. Einstein. I, 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 I feel like... I think, I think it was Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> 
<laughs> Paul Rodriguez, <laughs> like, the speed Paul of Rodriguez. light in my barrio was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyways, the, yeah. the, the, you know, it seems like a Stephen Wright, like, uh, it's, uh yeah, I thought it was maybe Stephen Wright, but yeah, anyways, God damn it. So yeah. fucking whatever. But I'm saying like people make up fairy tales. The scientific community makes up r- shit. That's why it's so annoying when ever anybody Proposes. argues science in terms of an argument for something. Bec- uh, I mean, no, it's not always annoying, actually. <laughs> it's quite essential uh, these days. We're a- actually, I mean the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, we should, never mind. I'm not even going to, I do have a point beyond that point, but I, I'm not going to even make it because I need to support science right now. <laughs> Fully and utterly. No, listen to science. Science is right, 100%. Let's go with science. Try that on for size. World and United States. Uh, I think, yeah. I, I think science is having a pretty good year right now. Science you think is having, so? Science is having a good run. They're definitely... <laughs> They're definitely heroes right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like they're, they're like the way Han Solo was in at the end of Empire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Just, oh no, uh, totally. Definitely our favorite character walking out of a theater yeah. at this very <laughs> sad point. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. science got frozen in carbonite. Mhm. <laughs> yeah. But right before it did, it said I know to I love you. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe who, who, so who maybe that? one of us need to dress up like Princess Leia did. <laughs> we have to scam science free, right? We have to stop taking the high road. And I do take think that low I actually, and... I'll extend this metaphor. I hope when science thaws out, it is as big a pussy as Han Solo was in Jedi. Uh, sorry for using pussy as a pejorative, but it, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, because science, like his, science needs to, if we, if we survive this culture war, yeah. I would like to see one of the side effects be that science, just in general, not scientists, not each individual scientist, but if it's like a two-way agreement between people and science which says, you know what, this is a religion in the sense that it is a connection to the unknown, and therefore you can't necessarily be science and simultaneously say, I don't care, I don't know what happens, I don't care what happens, who gives a shit? It's not my job. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. like, like, like it, it, we are lost little lambs because we did a long time ago agree to trust in science over all this other Michigas. <laughs> the, the, right. the, we, we, the, in spite of what we see every day that frustrates us, we have as a species decided to be humanist and, and be like, look, I, I'm not going to believe things that people that threaten to burn you at the stake tell me to believe. I'm going to believe... Um, the people looking through telescopes, right? And so, we we since we're obviously not going to spontaneously develop a, a culture that uh-huh. saves us, that tells us to be good people, and mm-hmm. since we no longer want to base that on whether you go to heaven or hell, like the next step is we have to become like Vulcan, you know, like and 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 we need a science, science Jesus, science. We need a science <laughs> Jesus, yeah, to, who who won't act like Jesus, he'll because he'll be like, I don't right. want to get crucified. I'm a scientist. <laughs> All of my data shows that will hurt and will kill me. <laughs> and yeah. I, I, all I ask is for you to think about that for a second. Empathy is scientifically right. like, 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 proven to solve our problems. Communication, honesty, like some, to, to maybe connect some of these things that we currently look at as being like moralistic and disconnect morality from this other thing that we call religion. Yeah. So that we can finally be like, like, cause it's like we still connect, we still connect the concept of atheism to like amorality. Like it's still getting done. It still gets done in your head. We gotta, yeah. we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix that. I, I no. feel like I, I feel like Spencer is our science Jesus. Oh it, shit! <laughs> you guys, you're in trouble, buddy. I got a box car full of ether out back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, he, he, wow, what a science Jesus. <laughs> wow. And the street value of ether is really like through the roof now that it's been disproven. I know. <laughs> you can't make more. Oh, the bad news is we were wrong about the ether. The good news is we got a fucking ton of it, everybody. Yeah. Let's get nuts. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> it's like finding yeah. out that you have, like, so, someone has quaaludes. Right. Uh, yeah. oh, Is yeah. ether the new quaaludes? Or it was <laughs> no, back no. then? Quaaludes are the new ether. But, right. But, but also, those are gone. What about, I know. What about poppers? You guys do poppers? <laughs> Like jalapeno or amyl nitrate? Am- jalapeno a- 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 or amyl, amyl nitrate? nitrate. Yeah. I, I, I did it once at a, at a bar, that's the, 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 the cleaning fluid, right? What's the th- I don't know. I well, don't know. Cl- v- v- the I'll take anything tape that comes head, Tape head popper. cleaning was the 80s, like, uh, it was like the DIY. I remember for right. me, it was The Doors, the movie The Doors, where I first saw a popper, and I was like, what is that? I still don't know. That's why I bring it up at comedy shows. But, but, I don't know. It's like a thing that, uh, it's a Dan, thing that you, you release you, in your, your nose. Your dad had, like, cleaning fluid for, for videotape. That, that's that's amyl well, that you can, right? and you could buy that. No, that's not amyl nitrate that I know of. I don't know if it's like related the way Sudafed is related to meth or whatever. But but like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I just all let's find out. Knows. <laughs> I know the two things that they. The, I know the one thing that those two things have in common. What <laughs> is that they butt they sex. supposedly dilate your uh, butthole. Oh. Like amyl nitrate poppers and like and huffing tape head cleaner. There were these things called tapes, uh, and these things called buttholes that (laughs) we believe needed to be dilated. Uh, Back in the back in the the early eighties, your butt had holes. (laughs) It would be good. I mean, what a great thing if you're constipated. (laughs) Oh, I got, yeah. yeah, but do you think if you dilate your butt and you're constipated, do you think the turd just falls out like a? <laughs> you're probably right. Well, We're not horses. Uh, it, yeah, well, I, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's like when you're. Or, I mean, that's I, probably not what happens to horses either. It looks like that that their assholes <laughs> just opening and shit drops out. <laughs> but no, there's probably a pushing. That's I mean, there's definitely a pushing that's going on. There's a digestive tract. In a I'm horse. sure. Horse, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> so. if it's just falling out with horses and elephants because they're just they're literally eating fiber. That's all they eat. Yeah. They're like taking in so much uh, fiber, yeah. the, 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 but uh, I did okay. Well, I was. We don't have to talk about this, but I, w- I did actually come to think of it. I was severely constipated once because I was on the Atkins diet, and I I, I told this story here before where I had I had a softball sized. Uh, Oof. Uh, how do I put this turd? Uh, yeah, like 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 Soft breaching, like 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 crowning, and yeah. I was unable to like. And there's a whole story of Rob Schraub coming over and like he had a screwdriver sliding uh, some drug he found in a grocery store because I texted him help me, and he brought some thing that he bought that's supposed to help make you poop, and he read it was like a fucking eighty sitcom joke where he read the directions and then. We had a Halloween party that night, so he read the directions. Said like, take one tablet and you'll poop in two hours. So he, it, so he just was like, "Well, we gotta go to the party in 15 minutes. Take four of these." <laughs> oh no! And I just believed him. He just slid pills under the door. He didn't slide directions, nor would I have read them. I was like, I'm, "If you're texting Rob Schraub for help, yeah, you're helpless." Right, like you are, you've realized I'm, that you have no friends, and like that you, you, your, your life is flashing before your eyes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. Did you so, shit your pants at the party? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, no, no, I, no, I didn't. I didn't shit my pants. I, I made it to the bathroom and okay. unzipped my Ghostbusters uh, uh, j- a jumpsuit. Ooh, and, Halloween. Uh, and I don't know. I never followed up with the person whose house it was to see if I cracked the porcelain. <laughs> Because what happened is nothing happened to the softball. This drug that Schraub quadrupled was just like it was just jamming gunpowder in the oh no into the breach. It was just putting it, and it was, so I just, just just fucking fired this fucking uh, f- fucking uh, Blackbeard fucking <laughs> yeah <laughs> like 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 pirate movie a cannonball a cannonball. I don't know why I'm why am I why am I. T- how do I put this? It was a. I already put it that way. It was a fucking ball of sh- hard shit, that, like flying out of my ass explosively. Right. Like I'm pretty sure I. I and I, and I just went home, like. <laughs> g- 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 ghosts busted. Uh, right. Everything. Uh, who are you gonna call? Yeah. Like, who are you, no. pl- a plumber. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, after you do that, the rest of the night's going to be incredibly anticlimactic. Yeah, it's like going yeah. to Vietnam, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> like, like going to come back out and listen to your stories about improv? 
Right. <laughs> you can't, I got some improv for you. Yeah. I just yes ended fucking biology. Yeah, of course. You just yes ended that, that cannonball <laughs> by I just forcefully firing it from your dilated <laughs> asshole. It's like, it's like, yeah. Uh, it's like uh, 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 altered states. Like I'm coming out with goat blood on my chin. I, I, I like when uh, rough. We, we, we may have discussed this on the show before, but uh, when, you, when you were on the cabbage soup diet. Oh, man. Well, you're going to follow up one poop thing with another. But go ahead. yeah, of course we've discussed it. Of course we have. It was bad. This is him referencing the way I described the shit I took. It's, it's you know, I don't, I just, I, I just want to register my shame. I, 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 I where, how did Brett, we get Brett, here? He described a shit he took on the, on the cabbage soup diet as it, he looked back at the bowl and said, it looks like the Kennedy autopsy. All oh. right. <laughs> okay. All right. These are, these are private communications with a friend. I look. Hey, no one I, told me look, we'd be living in this world where hey, all of this is everyone's business. I don't know about I don't know about the audience uh, here and at home, but I completely understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I like uh, to give things weight when I describe yeah, them. Yeah, of course. How could you not? Uh, we can't, it, I mean, was you a, can't be on a, a show either and just say, "Oh yeah, it was diarrhea. It's boring." Yeah, and I know a lot of people are going to go, "What? Those photos were black and white." And I'm saying, "Yes, but they were colored with national tragedy." <laughs> Exactly. And historic importance. Yeah. They and, were... and, 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 and yeah. misconduct. Yeah. <laughs> like like, like to, uh, possible tampering at the highest levels. Yeah. yeah. Very, Certainly very, grief. Very tragic. Grief yeah. I'll for just a go on them. Yeah. Very tragic. <laughs> very tragic event. Yeah, it's the appropriate palette to draw from emotionally. The yeah. The, the fact that Zapruder himself filmed that shit that you took <laughs> <it> makes sense. <laughs> All right. Imagine the yeah. people that listen. Some people listen to like all 400 episodes of this podcast. And like this is the fifth time they've talked about <laughs> that cabbage but, but, soup but shit. For a for a second in the middle of that story, when you're like, and Rob was at the grocery store, and he's like, yeah, I'll get you something. And what he brought back in my mind was going to be a head of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> but he it went quite differently. It like was way lettuce, funnier. Like lettuce fights cabbage, like yeah. a, a mongoose and a cobra. Oh no, I mean with the with the with the cannonball, with the meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sorry. All right. Well. Wow. Uh, people got. It, I feel like people reacted to that. Like. I think they're mad at us. I think they're mad, <laughs> and I. I hope it's not because they're disturbed. It must be just like okay, enough. No, they're exhausted. <laughs> enough they're, with the duty. They're just exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, it's exhausting. They they express that sometimes through applause, like where they're like, "That's great," and enough. <laughs> yeah. And then that's so, yeah, yeah. That's the average person who watches anything yeah. that we do. They're they're good kids. They mean well. Of course. Um, of co oh no, I didn't mean that. I mean, they had no idea that. No, they, of course. They I'm gonna, blaming us. Yeah. I'm fully blaming us. I'm not blaming not blaming you. And we're sorry that uh, we handed you a, a pre ruined uh, world. Uh, enjoy, Finally. En enjoy living in a volcano, <laughs> with a <laughs> with a cloned pterodactyl who's had its genes merged with a <laughs> with a with a with a with a criminal. <laughs> So that we could justify paying it three cents an hour, but, uh, <laughs> then when then if you complain about it pecking your kidney out uh, while it's delivering packages for Amazon, you get sued. Um, enjoy. Hey, enjoy at least yourself. at least all of that is scientific. <laughs> <laughs> we got cloning in there. We got <laughs> we love science. We got money exchanges, which is in a way a science. Oh yeah, it's definitely not from the know, people that pocus, brought pocus, you. Pocus, it's real. Ether. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Was it, oh, so? What? 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 I, I, of course. <laughs> yes. The reason, the reason I am a lifetime fan is because I, I think I was the number one Eagle, Eagle Heart fan. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, you must have been, and that means a lot. You could Thank hear you. that. I said the name of the show, and no one applauded. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Nobody uh, watched that show. Nobody watched it. It's a true it. crime. I it think was, it was a great show. It was Thank such you. a masterpiece. I really, really uh, enjoyed it. I, Thanks. I binge watched it. I was so um, impressed with That was like everybody. my first steady job that I was proud of. Yeah, to be a part of. Yeah, it was uh it was really something. It was yeah. It was really fun to work on. Plus like working with Chris, you know, who was uh I feel like a lot of us wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Chris. I totally, I mean, I was a kid. I got, I got to say to him, because he worked on Community um, as a, in, a, in a cameo, so I finally got to say to him, which just felt like this itch. Like, somebody, you have heroes that, you know it doesn't matter that you're going to say to them, but you just, it feels like, 
It's like the Mecca thing. Like you just, I have to, I have to say to this person, I have to get this out. I have to go to this wall. I yeah, have to, of course. This is not going to affect them. I need to like, like touch and say, uh, when I was 12 years old, blah blah blah. And yeah. uh, you know, I got to say that to Catherine O'Hara. I got to say that to mm -hmm. Martin Short. I got to say that I needed to say to Chris Elliott, thank you so much for doing uh, uh, Action Family on Cinemax. Did you, you remember that? Oh yeah, the best. Yeah. Uh, it was and so, FDR a one man show. Yeah, like a, Do you see oh, that? No, I didn't. I didn't see it there. Oh, that's on YouTube. You should watch that. Yeah. You'll love that. But that was on Cinemax. That was his other special. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the a Action Family was like the. That was the. I never. When was I ever gonna see anyone deconstructively saying like, oh, like I was still just a kid going like. Well, I don't know why people are laughing whenever this happens. I don't know why this film stock is being used. Like, right. Like, you need to see that shit deconstructed as soon as possible. Like, as young as possible. Your while well, your neurology is still. Yeah, he like, doesn't get forming. enough credit yeah. for what he did. I think he's one. I think he's one of the most, if not the most, underappreciated American comedian. I think. Yeah. I mean, completely innovative and cra crazy. Yeah. No, I told him I loved him. And then he was like, And he was kind of a dick about it, right? He's a dick. No, I I'm mean, kidding. No. Okay. <laughs> no, he would torture me. He would torture me, but it, he made me tough. It was, I think, out of love. I don't know. Well, it was probably self love No, he would just be like, nobody likes you. <laughs> be like, nobody likes you. And I'd be like, people like me. You had to be like his second banana. You had to be a straight man in order to hang out, you know? Uh, and he would just be there. No, and I'd be like, people like me. They, everybody likes me here. Oh, like, yeah, they like you as a person, but not as an actor. <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> you're terrible. But it's okay. We're all terrible. But you're, I'm the best. Maria's in the middle. And you're the fucking worst. <laughs> Mr. UCB, ooh, I've got a hat. Let me put it on and become someone else. He would do that to me for hours. <laughs> all day. All day. I guess that's that's my wheelhouse, like I, that I've learned to just <laughs> yeah. I've learned to like pull back on because it it, it does just it, uh, over it. I, I guess it's toxic, you know. It toxifies people, I, but <laughs> I, the place I, it comes from though is like it's truly like <laughs> you're lampooning yourself. You're saying was, like that was that was always my formula in my 30s. Was I was always like, can you imagine if I was bullying you for this? How funny that would be! Yeah, but like then the times kind of evolved into he like, was, of mean, course I can imagine you bullying me for it. <laughs> right. The president is a Nazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should shut up now. I think I would be taking this all <laughs> a lot worse if it weren't for Chris. I think uh, I would be taking Trump even worse. <laughs> Not that I'm taking it well, but no, but uh, yeah. No, this one time I, I <laughs> there was a scene where I don't remember why, but my my character's legs had been sawn off and I was like in this apparatus in this table and it looked like I was just like legless sitting on this table and it was so fucking hot. We like rented out this like warehouse and turned it into a studio in Santa Clarita. It was not AC. It was, so, it was like dead of summer. So fucking hot. The AC, like you, you might as well have not had it on. And I'm there, I'm like sweating my ass off. And then he's around and he's doing the scene with me and he's like, oh my God. You smell like duty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, pungent. Oh God, disgusting. You said, did you shower this morning? You smell like duty. He's like, everybody, everybody. Let, let me. And I'm like, I don't smell like duty. I don't smell like duty. He's like, yes, you do. You smell like duty. And then he was like, everybody got the whole crew <laughs> to line up and smell the top crack of my ass oh, in order to is... agree with him. That I smelled like duty. That's, that's, I'm going to say that's too much. <laughs> Just because I like to keep it verbal. Yeah, no, it was physical I at don't times. like smelling things. That triggers me. Uh, yeah, no. I got, but I, I got sniffed a lot on the playground. I like, never was like so simultaneously pissed off and then did, did laughing you, did, so hard did, did when you it smell happened. Like, did you smell like duty? Or, uh, maybe I did. Maybe I did smell like duty. And then I went back in my trailer uh, after I cleaned up, and then there was a pair of uh, tidy whiteies waiting for me that he had colored in the ass with brown marker uh, and left for me in my trailer. That doesn't even make sense. Now, now, yeah. now you have to call HR on him because that's <laughs> fucking terrible. No, no, it was all out of good fun. Do, do you know, why, do you know why the police officer smelled bad? Um, uh, I do, he, because they were a big fan of Chris, and they wanted to see if it was his real duty or, or just a marker. No, wait, let me no, guess. Why wait, did they don't smell say. It? I want to guess. Well, like, why, 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 why did the police officer smell bad? Why did the police officer smell bad? Yeah. Oh, this is Be a joke. I'm sorry. I thought you said that. 
I'm uh, so sorry, Jeff. Why did the police officers smell bad? Just give me. Let me figure. Let I'm me on figure it now. It uh, okay. The, 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 everybody, nose, you've heard it. Let Dan. Smell, let Dan smell let, bad. Suss this out. Odor. 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 Arrest. Odor. 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 Nobody no, help. Uh, nobody help. Odor. Odor. Odor in the court. No, that's a judge. <laughs> I know. I now know why. Ask me why the judge uh, smelled bad later. Well, okay. Why? Sidebar. Sidebar. Uh, why? Why did the judge smell bad? Uh, he wanted odor in the court. Okay. <laughs> wait. Wait. Uh, uh, but uh, but now back to your little uh, rubric. Um, why? What? Why did, why did the police officer smell bad? Why? And nobody help him. Nobody help him. Is that what a rubric is? What the fuck is a rubric? <laughs> what is a rubric? Is that a puzzle? A, Am I it's getting a puzzle. There? Yeah, okay. Back it's to your cube. little rubric. Uh, yeah, rubric. I like that. As, do you think that's so Rubik's name probably wasn't Rubik. It was probably like, like Rubstein or something, and he changed it for show business. <laughs> Rubstein. <laughs> They're never going to buy this cube from a Jew. <laughs> you got to change it. People are sick of solving Jews' I problems. Want to, <laughs> I want it to be Rubstein. <laughs> this, this symbolizes the, 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 the complicated mind uh, of, the, of the Jewish person. Yeah, kid, I'm your agent. I'm Jewish too, but listen. <laughs> Just call it The Rubik. puzzle business, it's merciless. <laughs> you in, you're inviting the, 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 a mind for solutions. <laughs> you don't want... Okay. Uh... Oh my God! That was either that either didn't land or landed, and everyone was like, "I mean, That's it landed disgusting. on me." Uh, all right, the, uh, is, uh, uh, what the police officer smelled bad because arrest, arrest, handcuffs, uh, arrest, uh, odor, smell. It wouldn't be smell. It's a sniff, uh, nose, 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 paddy wagon. Uh, do you have any guesses? Do you do you have any guesses? Do, uh, Brett, do you have any guesses? No. Because okay. he All right. shit his pants. <laughs> no, he... It, w- you're, you're cl- it wasn't in his juriff sniff I know he it. He said... I know it. What, okay. I'm going to write it on a piece his, of paper. His partner... No, no, you can, you can Wait, say it do, out loud. Do you, no, do you, do you already know it, or have you... Have you, have you I like, feel like you've told this one before, and I just remembered it. Yes. It's, yeah. No, you do it, though. What is it? Well... What, I'm going to ask Spencer, and he's going to give you the punchline. Um, Spencer, why... Oh, oh, uh, cut. <laughs> you see, I think we might have both got because, it. Because he's the popo. Yeah! No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> I mean... That wouldn't have been funny. I would have been mad at you if that was it. I just got excited because I was like, wait, they call him popo, and that's almost poo-poo. Because... <laughs> Spencer, why, why did the police officer smell bad? Because he had a duty? <laughs> he No. Why? I like mine. Be, I like be, mine. Be, be, because he was I on, like mine. Because he was on duty. And because he was on duty. That's the same joke. <laughs> duty. All right. He had so, a duty so, to protect. He had and a so duty. Right. Because he had a duty to protect. Why, yeah. why did the he honorable, hardworking police officer... Because he was in the line of duty. I mean, it's all, it all works. It's fine. Yeah, that's duty, what I'm saying. It's all good. If you're in a game show and he said, in the line of duty, if you judges and you'd get a ding. Otherwise, people are going to riot. <laughs> Duty's good. Duty. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah no, that's good. No, I, like, I, I, but I, I think there's, there's work to be done on, on the popo. I yeah, think, I think there's, there's a joke there. We could get there. Yeah. Why? Do you know why the stunt man uh, smelled uh, bad? Why? <laughs> Wait, give me a second. <laughs> you, oh, okay. Because you nailed him to the wall. Are, are, are you writing a new one right now? Yeah. 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 Because Apparently. he had to do a stunt. He or she. Yeah. It, or right. they. Right. Had to do a stunt. Uh, where could, they where, took a gigantic shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably it. That's probably so it. scatological. Okay. <laughs> this is Dan, terrible. T- t- tell us why the stuntman. Why? I'm gonna go with Brett's. I don't. I didn't. Oh. I, I was. Just, no, no, it's not making it about wasn't a rhetorical duty. question. They, they had to do a stunt where they right. rolled around in a, a skunk yard. Yeah. Uh, you had to box with. That's skunks. adorable. What smells worse than a junkyard? A, a skunk yard. Oh, it's pretty a good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I don't want people to think the, these were all good memories with you. It was not abusing me. It was fun. You know, I, I, I mean, maybe it was abuse, and I just didn't register it as that. But let's, you know, you know uh, we have to be okay with being a little mean at times. Still, 
Do you Especially know, on our side. Do you know what's... I uh, think we need to be a little meaner. What's purple and very dangerous? What? A grape with a machine gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, sometimes you got to be edgy. Right. Or... I'm sorry if I fucking offended you. But it's true, okay? Guns, man. If you gave Guns. a grape a machine gun, it'd fucking kill you. That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you know what... Uh, <laughs> My mom told me this was my favorite. This was the first joke I ever told. This was my favorite joke when I was a kid. You don't remember telling it. I don't remember telling okay, it. Okay. My mom could be full of shit. But she she includes the pronunciation of the punchline that I would do. She said, my, it was uh, what's uh, what's gray and has four legs and a trunk. A mouse going on vacation. Oh, great! I like that. <laughs> A it seems very, a little very sophisticated joke. I, I believe know. that you told it. I don't know. It seems I, like I, 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 I feel like that, confusing that qualifies. With <laughs> I was at Spalding Gray, but then we're in a gray barrel. Okay. I, I feel like that joke qualifies as child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> because the child is abusing it's the audience. It's joke Munchausen. She's projecting. <laughs> yes. She's projecting yeah. her the, need to tell jokes yes, not your, to you, my, which in the end served you. Yeah. No, it's like it's, it's, like, it's like I'm good in that story, but I, I kind of don't believe it anymore than a lot of stuff. Do, Why is, wouldn't your, you, is, your, yeah. is your mom still alive? Yes. Does she? And, and I first I have to check a couple things before asking you the question: Is she suffering from actual dementia or anything like that? No. So is she? Is your is your mom who's not suffering from dementia, but is just your mom's age? Is she starting to make shit up and redact and revise like memories that you were pretty confident were like part of your canon, and then like you're 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 an adult and you're visiting and you're like, yeah, it's like that time that uh, that soup got spilled or Uncle D uh, Dave did this, and, and it, my mom will just go like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Uncle Dave was a war hero. He never spilled soup in his life. You know, it's like, <laughs> and it's like what the fuck? What is that? Are you gaslighting me? Like, what? Uh, are you wow. crazy? Like, who is crazy? My mom yeah. like, like, I don't know what she's doing. It feels right. like 36 hours with James Garner, maybe. Like, do I have the plans to D-Day and I don't know it? And like, my mom's, you know, look it up. Yeah. No, my mother doesn't do that. My mother um, likes to consistently pretend uh, of like, Seeing a whole situation, you know, decades in the in the in in the making of of something that was the dynamic that is not that I have to constantly remind her that's not the way that is, and each time I'm disagreed with. You until mean like your mom will just we say, "Well, oh, the seventies were all she... about potatoes." <laughs> is that what you is that what you're saying? Or no, just like. We were always happy-go-lucky. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you know, that yeah. type of thing. My mom, yeah. No, yeah. not true, not true. Yeah. yeah, like that type of thing. Yeah, I definitely inherited, and I, this is actually to my mom's credit to the extent that I like myself, but like, uh -huh. my, my personality is very much like, I, know, I have to catch myself. Like, my mom and I love explaining everything like yes. shit that is none of our fucking business like oh. there's nothing at stake for us we just have to every you get like a napkin uh, a manufacturer could, could could introduce himself to me and say uh, or herself you're welcome Whoa. Um, yes that's right women can be napkin manufacturers yeah. swallow it down Think Nazis about it. And themselves. And why are you and still themselves. buying tickets to my show? You're Nazis. Um, and themselves, <laughs> the, you know. But the right. um, the the let's, but I, I would, within five that. seconds, like a na the napkin manufacturer would say, I'd go, how's business? And they would say like, like, oh, it's actually it's been up and down lately. And I would be like cutting the person off and going like, well, yeah, because like wiping your mouth is like kind of a zero sum game, and it's like. like Oh, it's just like like, like my, I got that from my mom. My mom is great at it. I'm right. I'm great at it. It's not a great thing to be great at. It's awful. It's a horrible habit. Yeah, my mother is uh, one of the. Great I'll tell you what your mom is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what all moms are. Amazing. Moms on the line. Pay him a dime. Give him a nickel, a penny or two. That's 12 cents. What you gonna do? A ha ha, ha 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 ha. A rapping, ha 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 ha. Went to the zoo, went to the museum. Fucked your mama. How do you see him big? Mine. How do you see him big? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Who's>, uh, wait, <laughs> don't ask any questions. Um? Wait, who's um? <laughs> Fucked your mom up. How do you see him big? <laughs> 
Okay. It's a it's a I, feature. I had not understand. A bug. It all was very clear to me. <laughs> Until post, I fucked your mom up. Uh, sure, Wait. but but if I just what? yell out DJ Khaled randomly, I'm a genius. Say, hey, come on, Rap, raps rapping is idio, idiosyncratic. How do you see him? I'm not, big. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying I'm interested in what it means. Okay, and I'm right. here with Sorry. the author, you know so what? I was just I'm like, a, I'm a little defensive. I'm a little yeah, defensive. I mean, of my I rap. am too. I am too. I'm totally <laughs> a defensive person. I hope what? I'm not speaking out of school. You you've engaged in rapping, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I, yeah, I, didn't, yeah, I yeah. did not mean that. When you're in your 20s and you think you wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm not a good freestyler. Look, I, I, yeah, I did this thing called Cracked Out for quite a while. That was like me and John Daly. That was our thing. What was it? What, I, I'm not familiar with it. Oh, it was. It wasn't you know, improv, though? It was like. No, it was, it was scripted. I mean, it was like very, very. Uh, it was problematic. I would, not, <laughs> I would not do it again. Was it, was it was it, very. Uh, was it very a, privileged. Was it a show? And a blog? Short sighted uh, and near sighted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we would like we would do these rapper characters named Cracked Out and Rapzilla, and <laughs> would perform pretty like misogynist uh, songs. Cause our whole like justification for it was that we loved hip hop and we were sick of people like doing rapper car- white rap, you know, right. white comedians doing rappers and like just playing on the like cliche tropes. Like let's create two characters who really embody the flaws of like co opting. This music and uh, and this culture, and then, but it was just an excuse to act like a couple of assholes. <laughs> yeah. It was so hypocritical and like shitty. No, we did like, uh, a fa- and then we wear like you know like G unit shirts and do rags and shit. It was just, it was not cool. It was very pre two thousand eighteen. Everyone, <laughs> no, yeah, no, I you know, I I, I kind of want to feel like uh, we, the, we we should hear you. Guys, both freestyle right now. Like we would be terrible. We were not like it was not great. We tried to rap as as Zach. As you got you got a beat for us. Rhyme, rhyme as well as we could. Oh, both of us rhyme. Yeah, right? he's yeah. saying you and me. Yeah, he oh, didn't, okay. He, he didn't hear you explaining. It's I not, think he did. I think he just ex- just right. did not care. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, Jeff, yeah, it's so it also like it's lame, you know. To to no, we were just doing that, and then that was like what we were known for. And we were like, we should stop this, oh, not because it bad. was. Uh, no. Ignorant <laughs> in any way, yeah. Because it was comedically like, well, you did you cross the people threshold? People, right? like, you know, and it was of course like white people loved it. <laughs> is, is there anybody here in the crowd that feels like they're a good freestyler? Like, like, like they can come up and throw it down? Yeah. Oh Ooh. shit! We got we, we got we got one confident we, yes. Just who, one. Who, who is that? Or, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And uh, oh, no. a confident yes say, seated I'm not, next I'm to also someone. I'm not that against would. white rappers. I'm not saying right, every right, right. white rapper a, a, a woman, is like stealing the culture. I'm a not woman saying that. Went, no, it's definitely fraught. I felt like I, was it is it my, my perception or was the the person that went that very quickly went yeah was sitting next to the date who then went no yeah <laughs> I have to seems. these I, people I, don't see, have to I, get I, in a I, car I, with you after I, this. I would love that. Is, is there a gal here tonight? Is there, is there a woman that, that can freestyle? No. What? What? Why, what? what? No, I, I, I thought you, your theory was right, where she went, no. Like, like, oh, I, no. I, like I, she I, was dissing him from the perspective of someone who could really rap and knew the true extent of his rapping capabilities <laughs> and was casually slagging him off? Yeah. Well, that's a fair assessment. That may well be the case. If yeah. that's the case, they <laughs> both like, have to come up here yeah, and rap. Yeah. <laughs> You're like my, my Jiminy sobriety cricket. Like, I, uh, like I, I can't, I, I, halfway I, through the show, I'm so drunk that when Jeff throws me for a loop, I don't even know how to articulate it and faster uh, than you can. I, yeah. Barely. <laughs> I'm just figuring it out. I, I was just fantasizing that there, there would be a woman out of the crowd that wants to come up and freestyle rap with That would be you. great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah it would be as good as if a, if a guy or anybody. But, yeah, I but, think it would but, be better. But, but all of it... Uh, all, all of it might be bad. We don't know. Um, so oh, anyway. Uh, anyways, Brett Gelman, what are you what are you excited oh. about working on right now? Yeah, What's your right. new eagle heart? Wait, when you're well, not I, rapping with women. What? Uh, uh, sorry. When am I going to start rapping with women? <laughs> yeah. I mean, not, maybe I should w- do that. What? W- when you're not rapping with women, w- w- what are you working on? Ah. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, when I'm not rapping with women, which... 
I never am. <laughs> Thank you for taking I'm never a rapping. break. No, I actually actually started rapping again, but the, with the more pointed, you know, Women? hopefully. Huh? Oh, no. I don't have, I don't, it's, it's a solo, you know, you know, but my girlfriend will but sing hooks on it. Scri- and, it's and is helping and me write it. Are you like what? Re- recording a, a mixtape or? Um, I don't know. I think it'll be an EP. <laughs> and then hopefully, <laughs> and there'll be comedy on that, too, you know, on there too, you know, and the songs probably will be comedic and you'll send it to like somebody and they'll be like, oh my God, this is fucking great. I'll pay you like $20 million to fill this out and make it longer, which is something that <laughs> always happens, especially in those terms. Yeah. Sure. People always want it longer. The EPs. Um, no, I'm, uh, I'm on this, in this movie, uh, Room for Rent, that is, uh, is going to be coming out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in that. And then like been shooting, uh, well, I'm in this show called Camping that just premiered on HBO. <laughs> Thank you. I just shot the second season of this great show called Fleabag. I don't know if you've seen that. That that I, yeah. that that I've been hearing. Oh, look, my, my girlfriend is like, like it. way into that. Yeah, yeah and I great. keep on. I also haven't seen Atlanta yet, so right. d- don't be offended when I say I've been hearing for a year and a half that you're, it's great. And I you're still very haven't busy. You're it. very busy. No, not at all. I'm not. I'm, it's I, not a net. I'm on you level bu- eighty of, 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 of my fourth Fallout Four replay. I am not. I, I there's no excuse for me not watching people's shows. I just don't do it, but for some fucking reason, I don't know if it's pettiness, jealousy, laziness. What what is it, why don't I watch other people's shows? Maybe because you're you spend a lot of time working on a show and you don't feel like watching like shows that are coming out while yours is coming out. I think it's, it's my exhausting. latest. Yeah, it's, it's like because the muscle in your brain that is dedicated to appraisal of of uh-huh. whether something's funny maybe uh-huh. is so overactive that you don't want to. Like someone says, you know what's amazing? You should like if you were a, yeah, it's like like you should right. come to this class I'm doing where we crunch this muscle and you're just like it's a muscle that you like that you you you've been shooting like steroids into <laughs> and you're like I'm gonna kill a child if right. I go right. to that <laughs> class. I don't right. know what All it, I, I do I, is think about this muscle. I don't, I don't know how to explain to... it. I just observe my behavior. I go like why right. why why at this point aren't you why? like I I, I I saw an episode of BoJack and I was like, this is awesome. Like, like clearly I can see I can see what all the hubbub's about. I've yeah. never been jealous of BoJack. I've never wished ill on it. Like all my friends are on it. I just but I still haven't like been wa- binge watched BoJack, which Cody has. Therefore, I caught a couple episodes and right. I sit and I go, oh, that's great. Why did I watch all of Eagleheart? Why? What was I like? Not threatened by it because you had doo doo. Because it was so unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I had to have ownership. This is of fucking it? great. Nobody's watching it. Oh god, I love it. I don't. It's got quality and no audience. <laughs> Perfect combo for me. Yeah. No, I. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, don't always feel like watching things. It can become. It's also like a lot. Always is just being is airing and being like, oh, you got to... I mean, that's how so many conversations start these days. Oh, you gotta watch this. Yeah. I think it's just. A, I think it's it's an ex, it's an expression of my workaholism, which is not has nothing to do with work ethic. It's relationship with what I consider work, and so it's like, I yeah, I'm like, it's yeah. My colleagues are suffering the symptom of me having an unhealthy relationship with what I do. Mm-hmm. It's not, be- and it's not about co- competition or anything as much as right. it's just like, I'm like, I have some aversion. I want to get away from my own work as soon as possible. And then I like somehow categorize watching new girl with my own job, which I shouldn't have anything to do with that. Right. New girl. <laughs> He said it's an example because it was like, like, show, like I should have bonded with I was like like yeah. I like Liz Merriweather and totally. like I, like we had shows on at the same time and it was like like sh- like it was like why am I not watching your show and then like I would see a couple episodes because my ex wife uh, McGathy would be w- w- watching New Girl and I would like I'd walk through the room and oh oh that's New Girl oh, that's yeah cool. oh, it's delightful I like that no it's a great show no I just yeah and then no, I'm like, I wasn't dissing the show I was just like, no, oh, no I know wow. you weren't dissing it yeah. Jesus I I, I I why don't I why don't I get excited why, why do I, I'm, I'm like I'm my fifth rewatch of my ninth season of Forensic Files like I'm just like 
like I just I just like rape and murder and there's like like give me the true <laughs> yeah. crime and the fucking like I'm just like in this crazy like right. I'm a avo- it's avoidance it's avoidance of something. Yeah, you think I, so? Like, I I don't watch comedies like I, I I have no desire to watch like successful awesome like funny things. I I just they don't make me want to watch them. I'd rather watch just stupid shit more than I would watch people that my my friends like the shows my friends make. Right, right, and it's, and it's not out of. I don't think it's jealousy or like, like, like distancing myself from that. It's like, I think, like, I don't want to watch sitcoms. Well, I think like maybe, maybe, it's, and I can relate. I do watch things that my friends make, but I sometimes don't feel like it, and there is like an aversion. I think it's just because it's all so close to you, and even though this is our job, we still relate to everybody that you want to when you watch something. Escape your life. So this, these things that are close to you by your friends are maybe making you, I guess, not able to escape your life as much. I guess. I don't know. I think it has something to do with engagement too, though, because I don't think it's it's honestly not always like, oh, my friend worked on this, or this is a, the same genre. Even it's like it has right. something to do with engagement. Uh huh. I think it's like, like I I pay too much attention to act breaks or genre uh-huh. homage or something like that. Right. Like, Whereas in a, forensic files, it's yeah. just like. Like nonfiction a spiral and like horror. horror. Like horror yeah. doesn't come anywhere near anything that I right. have ever done for a living. So mm-hmm. I love horror movies and sci-fi you movies. You never wanted to write a horror. Have you, I mean, have you never wrote a? No, I've never written anything horror. My, Monster House. Someone. Someone. Right. Ri- you could. You could hear in their voice. Th- halfway through it, they regretted it. <laughs> they went. They went. Monster House. Huh? A great you, film, you, you know a what? great I, film, <laughs> yeah. but not a not, class, not a horror. Not like a, not like sense. a genre, like a Stephen King, like like, right. yeah, like I'm trying to scare you. There's an oogity boogity under your foogity. Right. Like like. I, <laughs> I, I, sorry, sorry, hold up. There's oogity, oogity boogity under your snoogity. Yeah. Was <laughs> like, I, think I think we think found the title to your horror movie. I think it's important. To, I, so I think this is important data. Like if I'm if I'm flicking through uh, Apple TV and I'll, if I see a thing, so if I see cover art for a movie that's like. A guy, and he's got a hose coming out of his head, and it says in like shitty Matrix ripoff font, um, "The Happening to." No, I, I, I riffed a bad title. That's distracting. <laughs> there was a happening, so I made it two. That doesn't help. No, I was at the the the, con, the conduction, um, and and all aboard the dark web. Or is that like in a, in a world? Like if I, is it, I'll, I'll barely have to read. Oh. It's just like like in a in a in a, wo- just... in a world where water is more valuable than metal. Um, a computer's just been brought online that t- t- turns out to be part monkey, and I'm just like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> is it horror, sci-fi, fantasy? Wh- even t- so, it's like like, and I but I know for <laughs> sure any rom-com, anything that's like uh, anything near that, any Apatow thing, any like I'll, I I I have to I have to be in the midst of a trade-off with Cody. Uh, and then I'll right. always I'll always be like, oh, I love Twenty Seven Dresses. Who would have known? But I, I don't know what it is. What's the division? Like, I don't want to be engaged on a. Maybe it's heartstrings. I just I really I can't get out of my mind how my uh, how I've really discovered one of my main like top dreams of my life, and is that for me one one day to be sitting in a movie theater and <laughs> s- see a preview for Dan Harmon's. <laughs> There's a oogity boogity. <laughs> <laughs> in my, in my snoogity woogity. Dan, wh- wh- what do you like? Give me the elevator pitch to oogity boogity. These are my snuggities. Like, uh, like, what's what's what, what's the pitch in, on your horror movie? Okay, well let's do the let's do the let's do the trailer for it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the green screen comes up. Yeah. These pancakes are great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, what do they have? Buttermilk in uh, them? Yeah, no, they're, I, I, I put a little bit of buttermilk in them. I put a, actually a little bit of honey. Feels like, feels like the more things you put in pancakes, the more you can't go wrong. No, you, you, you can't go wrong. <laughs> they are. New Line presents. <laughs> Come on, man. No. <laughs> Load up the car. All right, all right. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got it. I forgot my snoogity woogity. Just put it in the car with the rest of the pancake mix. You, you sure that I should bring this on our on our bacon trip, huh? 
The more the ingredients, the better. All right. This here's... is the life, baby! <laughs> but little did these guys know. By the way, I fucked your girlfriend. Oh. And now I'm making pancakes to celebrate. Hey, man, I don't give a shit. I fucking hate everybody. Make me some pancakes, too, man. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about anybody no, in this man. cabin for we this will, weekend. We'll <laughs> never see consequences to any bad thing that we've ever done. Let's Carry flip this pancake. Yeah. Gary <laughs> Oldman and John Favreau. Sometimes John Favreau in his first double role of his <laughs> career <laughs> as the two guys who love pancakes. Hey man, I thought you said you flipped the pancake. What man? I directed Jungle Book. <laughs> Where the hell is the pancake you flipped? Man, oh no. I think it's in my snuggity woogity. Wait, you can't be. It was it had fugity in it. <laughs> no, man, I dumped the fugity before I put the snuggity woogity in the car, man. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> anyway. Excuse me. Oh, so are you doing it? <laughs> oh no, you do Cameron. No, Diaz. I did. Why were you gonna do no, it? No, I was still gonna do oh. one of the Fabros. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm enjoying yeah. his. But we should do Cameron Diaz. I don't know why I didn't go right well, into Cameron Diaz. We're getting pimped to do him. Yeah, That's exactly. His, he's, we should he's do He's been Cameron. on the road for three weeks. Where that's no, the whole it's thing not is good. You, I you, should you do pimp, that. You pimp each no, other. No, but he's right. I should do that. That's it, lazy like, 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 and oh, it's, it's Cameron not Diaz. being on my and game. And she's doing a Jamaican accent. <laughs> Cameron Diaz is not in this movie. What? I Whoa. All right. That's right. There's even twists and turns in the trailer. <laughs> But uh, or as Benici we like to Benicio call it. del Toro is. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, well. mind if I, you mind if I come in? You mind if I come in? <laughs> oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a uh, uh, boogity boogity. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help uh, small uh, pancakes around here. And, uh, I couldn't help it over here as I was passing by your, your house, your, your lovely home here. Uh, you know, <laughs> Did you say you have a? Did you say you have a? Uh, <laughs> did you say you? Oh wait, I was wrong. Cameron, have a, Cameron Diaz is also in the scene with uh, Benicio del Toro. Oh. oh, this is my wife, by the way. Hi. Uh, this is this is comedy domedy. Uh, uh, hi. And we were just passing by again, as I saw before. I just, I couldn't help it over here. If you, we couldn't help over here. I'm sorry, dear. We couldn't help over here. It's all right. Do you, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I apologize. I it's apologize. all right. You're so nice. I'm always just talking about myself. Such I'm such a I'm, gentleman. Uh, oh. You're such a mumbly gentleman. No, that's, that's what I'm supposed. You know, look, look. No, it's not me being a gentleman. That's what I, I should do. Oh. Okay. If I don't do that, I, I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm wrong. Because you have a like bestial side to you, so if you're rude, it'll be too much. Yeah, exactly. I become a narcissist, and I only see it through my male lens, yeah. and that's not good. So I'm sorry, I picked I'm up a little Drew Barrymore slack jaw from the set of Charlie's Angels. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Anyway, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> also kinda, sorry. I'm kinda... Drew Barrymore. Oh my God! Right. This is our daughter. This is our daughter, Kokity Wokity. It is so Wokity. hard to do an impression of me when SNL has already did it 12 years ago. Uh, no, that's all right. That's all right. You have to open your mouth even wider. That's right. All bets are off. And <laughs> with Dan Harmon's There's a Noogity Boogity <laughs> under your Snoogity Woogity. Yeah. Yeah. It's rated. <laughs> rated. D lock, for lock. Don't See This. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> that, was, that was great. I should have put that Benicio on my SNL tape. I should have put that Benicio on my SNL tape. That, that was, was a great a, Benicio del Toro. You just, you know, yeah. you, you take a Marlon Brando and you mumble him out even more. I know. <laughs> I want, I want to you, no. yeah. I just tried to li literally follow those instructions. <laughs> it didn't sound like Benicio did, del Toro, no, though. Give yourself some it credit. It did sound a little. Did I sound like Benicio del yes, Toro? Yes, you did. Really? Yeah. 
Can I give you some instructions for to do John Lithgow and see if my formula applies? Okay. He's got it. He's uh, got it. Make well, your why, why don't we have a scene with John Lithgow and Benicio? Well, yeah, I just want to. Well, I'll be well, John Lithgow. Well, first, I want to do a blind test. Make your mouth into a circle, like a lamprey. Okay. But no, puck, uh, tuck your lips under. I can't mm -hmm. talk while I'm doing it, or I'll Look be doing good. John Lithgow. Okay. For, yeah, and then just just say, uh, "Go away." Go away. John Lithgow. <laughs> That's great. So should I do John Lithgow when you do Benicio or other way around? No, I'll do John Lithgow, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, hey, John, how you doing? <laughs> Go away! How you doing, John? What'd Go you say? away! What you say to me? What you say to me? What? What you say, John? Uh, John what Lithgow. What? I'm Benicio. John. Benicio Del Toro. I'm your friend. I'm your oh, friend. you're my friend. I'll flip you. I'll flip you for real, John. I'll flip you. Let's fight the ugly. Uh, <laughs> this is new project I'm working on. <laughs> you know what? Neither of us, neither of it us, sucks. can carry it's this. Just, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not good. We're not gonna. We it's need really a, bad. We, we need an A list. We need we have a, to rehearse this. We need to get a Brad Pitt involved to yeah, uh, help it, us out here. Yeah, Spencer. Uh, you want to throw some George Clooney on that, and, and uh, like we need we need an A lister to make this uh, story work. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, you meant an A lister character, not an A lister person doing the impression. Yeah, that's oh, what. geez, wow. What did you mean? You're filled with as much shame as me. Like, that's you, what I thought you, he meant. You, I don't think of myself in terms of lists. Right. Right, but <sighs> my God, for you. To for you to for you to I, hear that that's that amazes me because it's like that's that's a shame projection that only I'm capable of. Where you you heard that as I was like, yeah, this guy's not good enough at improv for us to to mount this amazing goal. <laughs> oh, I thought that you just meant I wasn't famous enough to get away with doing a bad impression. Whereas no. if Brad Pitt were up here and he was doing no, a terrible you, you, Benicio you know. impression, yeah, he would be like, are, I don't care. Being, it's so amazing. You guys are doing fantastic impressions of kind of second banana char like, like like character actors. We we needed like a like an A list. I was saying. As the character, okay. I was saying as John All Lithgow. Right. Oh my God! I was turning to, I was turning to Benicio with. Well, there the, we go again because I see Benicio and John as as a listers, but well, yeah, but I, I guess they're not. I think they both sad. did, and also so did the producer that put them on set. Like, how are they on set together? And finding out that they can't carry the movie, that was kind of my joke, that they're both like, this isn't going good, is it? But I was sort of like, I was blaming the fictional yeah, writer and producer right. of the movie. <laughs> but they well, we need someone are, else they, in here. <laughs> they themselves are such honest artists, I think that they would be able to admit that it wasn't going well. Right. They'd be like, look, they either this needs to be an indie movie about uh, going on a road trip. <laughs> right, or, which I would watch. Or we need to step, you know, add some talent. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart. Stewart. Now. Yes, yeah. Jimmy. Yes, my John Lithgow sounds like Jimmy Stewart. But there is similarities. Yes, there, there are it's similarities. As there are similarities. Right, uh, okay. it's like saying, how about this? How about this? Uh, it's a story about uh, it's it's the biopic of Jimmy Stewart as portrayed by John Lithgow. <laughs> and then Benicio plays and, and, and Benicio del Toro is strangely the star. Like he's 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 the uh, he's the A story in the movie. He's, as who? Uh, right, the as, manager. As his manager. As his manager. As his okay. Manager. Okay. Yeah. So it's set in the thirties. <laughs> Great. Like Jimmy Stewart is a. He's yeah. just. He's just James Stewart. Mm -hmm. Right. A bus boy. And this is the scene where his manager <laughs> notices him. And Benicio is older. But Beni Benicio, <laughs> yeah. Benicio Del Toro plays yeah. the manager, and John Lithgow is <laughs> portraying. Benicio Del Toro is playing. Shell Shell Superstein. Right. Shell Superstein. Okay, Shell Superstein. Agent to uh, the stars. Bo bo <laughs> young adult Jimmy James Stewart's right. soon to be manager. Right, right. So, so this, all, right. all plays out. So you're you're I'm like a, you're cleaning I'm, dishes in the. I'm a, yeah, and I'm I got right. Jerry's I, famous deli. And, and I caught your uh, I, I caught your your vibe like Burt Reynolds did. Yeah. To Mark yeah, Wahlberg exactly. and Boogie yeah, Nights, yeah, yeah. and so, I but, follow but, you but, back. But into it's the a kitchen. young John Lithgow playing a young Jimmy Stewart, right? Yeah, or, yeah. Or is it an old? Oh, John Lithgow? oh no, it's old John Lithgow playing young I Jimmy think Stewart. Would, but if that's it was not, filmed now, if it was. But, I mean, what now, are we going to reverse age you. John Lithgow? Like, what? He's then, a, this then, is a. It's, yeah. it's a Hallmark theater movie, and like, you're following me into the dish room, like yeah. Burt Reynolds style. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The dish room. And I play. Uh, in on and the I'm dish Benicio room. del Toro as uh, there Shell is a Super dish room. I worked in it for my young adult life. Yeah. Jesus, I'm what? sorry to blue collar high road you, but 
<laughs> the dish yeah, room is a pretty real good. place. I think every dishwasher now feels better by hearing it called dish room. Well, here we go. Washing these dishes that I... Hey. Oh. Hey, boy chick. Hey, if you're going to be back here, you need to have a dishwashing room. No, 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 no. Don't be Meshuggah no, here. Don't be... Access. Don't be Meshuggah no, here. <laughs> stop, your, stop your quetching. Stop oh. your quetching. Oh, I'll flip you. I'll flip you for real. Oh. Well, uh, I, oh. I, I know it's you. I know it's you in the... I'll say in a restaurant. Uh, I'm a, gosh, I'm a nobody's big ever noticed me. Well, that's part of my job, kid, to notice people that aren't noticed, and then well, I notice get... them, and then everybody else notices them too. That's what. That's how I make stars, kid. Oh, well, it must be I'm nice. Right, I, I sure like to get paid to notice people. <laughs> <laughs> how would you like? How would you like it? How would you like it if I made that? If I made that sweet little tachis of yours. <laughs> The most famous tuchus in, 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 in the whole world, huh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, One of the most famous tuchus is ever to shake itself across the silver screen, kid. How would you like that, boy chick? Oh, huh? gosh. You might as well ask me if I want my tuchus to make ice cream. Uh, of course yeah. I'd love you it. Know. I mean, I'm going to, well, I'm going to refuse the call now, but then I'm going to have an argument with my mother in a second, in the no, next no, no. beat. No, I talk to your mother from now on. Well, I'm only saying no now for the sake of story. Uh, oh, okay. I'm okay. not doing bad improv. L later, at oh, the, at, l later at the refusal of the call to adventure. Hey, Mom. Mom, I had the craziest encounter last night. Oh, no, you didn't, you little poop. <laughs> Mom, I, I, uh, this guy came in the dish room, see? And he Why? told me I'm going to be a star. No, son of mine is going to be a star. Star. Put me on the phone. Put me on the phone. Let me talk to your mother. Let me talk to your mother. Put me on the phone. Uh, who the fuck is Put this guy? Why, why did you let him into my see, house? He Hello. wants to be on the phone with you, Mom. He's... Shalom. Hello. Sh Shalom. Hello. I, I'm, I'm the threshold guardian, and I don't no, want no, no, my no, no, son no. to be famous. No, 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 no. No, let me correct you. You were his guardian. You're his ex-guardian, his ex-mother. I am now his guardian. I am now his mother. <laughs> <laughs> He's that tuchus, that sweet little tuchus. <laughs> Just pretend it's dead. Just pretend your son is dead because he's as good as dead to you. Later okay? at the crossing of the threshold. Whoa, I can't believe this party, Mr. Uh, uh, Superstein. Yeah. What'd you call me? <laughs> I almost called you Benicio. <laughs> oh. It's Superstein. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm a Jew. I'm not Benicio. Oh, gosh. I've never even heard that name in my life. Oh, no, I, I didn't. You might as well say my name is Zarbot. Well, <laughs> or something I, like that. No, I, I don't mean to imply. No, I, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not a fit. It's a beautiful name. I love your it's house. It's actually one of the best names I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, Benicio. super. Benicio. Uh -oh. oh, God, if I could rename myself, I'd rename myself Benicio. Benicio, what would be my last name? Not Superstein, that's for damn sure. Be Benicio Dell. <laughs> Look at all these people around no. the pool. No. Oh. oh, sorry. No, it's sorry. fine. Anyway. It's fine. No, no, yeah, no. All these people around the pool. Yeah. You know who they're here for? Oh. Not boy chick. No, introduce me to they're them here to one see by you. one. <laughs> all right, well. It's like a well, who's who of, of 19 Golden yeah. Age Hollywood. All right. <laughs> this is David O. Selznick. Oh, hello, Mr. Selznick. <laughs> oh, David, say hello to the new star. Hi. Ooh, oh my God. Look at this guy. Right. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, David? Huh? Wow. Is he not star? What's He's your name? Jimmy? James? What should we call you? Oh, gosh. My mom calls me James. No, 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 no. You don't mention her. Hey, hey. You don't mention her. Hey, kid. Uh -huh. Hey, kid. He said that stepping into the hot tub with the young Jimmy Stewart, <laughs> from now on, I'm your mother. I'm, oh. I'm David Selznick. I'm, a, I'm your mom from now on. I'm going to make you something. Oh, is everybody my mother? No, I'm going <laughs> to... Because that's what Hollywood is. It's the meeting with the goddess scene. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Notice how I didn't disagree with him, right? That's right. David O. Selznick tells you that you're, he's your mother. Right. He's your mother. Oh. Anybody at this party tells you that they're your mother. They're your mother. All right. All right. So basically, everyone who you're going to know from now on is your mother. 
boom, 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 needle drop. I can't pay for the rights to, but I... Uh, oh, sorry, I can't remember it. Some Santana <laughs> song. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh, boy, uh, Jason, uh, 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 who, who's this over here? Another classic silver screen legend. Uh, in the 70s? We're in the 70s? No, now? no. I was just Boogie Night reference. Oh, oh, oh right. It, well, it, oh, we're melding the periods. It's a mess. Yeah, it's, no, I got, no, it's good. It's good. You can it, do that. They did. I thought Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you just, it's about popcorn. It's not about... <laughs> yeah. di- it's, if you want to get a documentary, get one. Yeah. Mm. But really, what if my <laughs> name really was Benicio? Anyway. Uh, All right. Well, look. I, uh, oh, is that over there? Who's that? Oh. Oh, are this you, right are here? You, are, you, are you talking to me? Oh, my this gosh. This right here? This is... Francis Capra? Francis... It's Frank... Francis Capra. I'm Frank Capra. Oh, Capra. I thought you said Cochran. I got very... I got very confused. Yeah, no, this is, this is Frank Capra, the one and only. Oh, boy. Oh, you're going to do... I, I know you guys are going to do a lot of wonderful things together. <laughs> a lot of wonderful, very lifelike only, things. O- only if he fucking sucks it. You, uh, I'm geez. Frank Capper. You gotta suck it, still. Oh boy! You I, got you gotta slap it right on there. Oh, I wanna, could I could never. We're gonna uh, make a. You can't take it with you, and then Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Uh, but only s- if you really just lay it down there. I'm gonna stand on the edge of the pool and jump in. I don't want to commit fellatio in order not? to have a career. I, I don't want to have any kind of career at all. You have the opportunity to do a very, very, very progressive <laughs> thing here in this movie. Hey, hey. Hey, this shouldn't be a hey, moment of shame. Hey, I think Stein, you're wrong. Superstein. Yeah? Why don't you fucking cool it? That, w- <laughs> that was my Frank Capra test. I don't want somebody that wants to suck it to get a job. I want somebody who has the integrity to work in this town for the right reasons. This is what I was saying to you, Frank. I'm always in on this bit, and you always think that I'm, I'm I, no, interrogating hey, no. you. You always forget <laughs> what I, I hey. was in on. I was doing the thing there, hey, Frank. No, no, no. No, what are you? I, I, I pull super oh, I, I, I pull super <laughs> side aside and go. No, we're oh, doing. Okay. I'm doing the. I'm doing the good cop thing. I know. Like right there, this is the joke. Oh, this, oh okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Like, like he's not. He's not gonna um, buy this. Right, right. Spill the wine. I'm word. wrong. I'm so Get sorry. That girl. Wait, uh, why Spill the wine. It's, 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 that it, it's 1932. Why is yeah. he singing? It's Santana? boogie nights. We're merging periods here. Emerging periods. What here. you think? I was, you ever watch the Goldbergs? How many fucking years are we spanning yeah. here? What is is Back no, to the Future theme. premiering, or is this Madonna doing Lucky Star? There's what a the central, fuck? There's a central theme to many many things that 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 uh, that that screen nowadays. That 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 you know, one showbiz, always showbiz. It's all one big wonderful soup ah. for taking to use in any way we like. It's a wonderful life. Right. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, look I'm, over, look over there. It's it's uh, it's Betty Hutton. Oh, wow, Betty Hutton. <laughs> oh, you got to meet her. Come, wow. on, come over here. Wow. Come, yeah, come over I'm here. I'm going to be remembering her for a long time. Yeah. I didn't think anyone could do an impression of her. I just thought you would all be interested to know that Betty Hutton was standing over there on the other side of the Oh, room. you don't want to talk to Betty Hutton? We're not going to talk to Betty Hutton? I you don't want to be Betty Hutton? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Oh, oh Betty Hutton's on roller skates. <laughs> This is because <laughs> it's buggy nights. Right. Were they invented yet? Uh, Thirty. When was the roll? Yeah, but they didn't have keys. They invented. won't have keys until the seventies. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember that day right. when keys? When they invented the roller skate key. Mm-hmm. The fuck? Yeah, I remember. The fuck it. is that lady talking about? Hey, I don't know. Hey, I, I, I don't Frank, know. Frank, Frank yeah. Capra. Frank Capra pulls uh, Superstar on the side. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Superstar. Right. Am yeah. I gonna fuck Jimmy Stewart tonight or what? I thought, I thought you didn't want. I thought you wanted him to keep his <laughs> no. I don't. I, I, I don't have want sex to. to get a job. I, 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 look, you got. You don't get the whole like where I play bad cop, even when it's just you and me. Oh, he has a weird yeah. fetish where he I only forgot. wants his dick sucked by guys who pass the "don't suck my dick" test. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like it's like beyond like a gay guy that's only attracted to straight guys, like all the way into like yeah. he's a, he, he. I'm he, Frank he, fucking he, Capro. <laughs> Look, you know what? Yes, yeah, Superstar? <laughs> I quit. Huh? I quit. You quit what? I quit this business. 
You I'm do. quitting this whoa, business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you give up that I'm easy? I'm sick of all these head games. You give, you, you give up that easy? Give up that easy. It's been decades of... Uh, Is, I, was, was head games a pun on Sucking My Dick? Huh? Huh? I just, you know, this... <laughs> This whole method acting thing that you're doing with me at a I'm party. Not, look, I'm just trying to make m motion pictures. Over no, you're not. No, you're not. You're I'm trying to alienate people, including yourself, and to, I think I'm, it's I'm very to, sad. I'm trying to create an America that is a myth mythological America that never really existed. I want to bring people together. <laughs> Superstein? Yeah. I'm going to suck your dick right now. <laughs> that you, takes a lot of guts. You want <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Stewart? Why? That, make, that makes why? me want to suck your dick. Why does it take? Wait. Why does it take a lot of guts? Just suck why a does man's it take dick? a lot of guts? Well, I, well yeah. I mean, if you're straight, it, 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 I guess. This not really doesn't take guts. Well, no, it's you're making a, you a decision. Know, well, because it's 1936, it's, it's, uh, it's frowned upon. Oh, not by uh, the me. FBI can arrest you for it. Still. Mm. Oh, okay. What period are we in again? <laughs> What year it's is the, this? It's the it's the gay gay <sighs> scare period. You know what? Frank Camper only uh, ain't the only one on this picture who's playing games with my character's head. You know who else is? Mother Time. <laughs> no, not Father Time. Mother Time. That's right. I said it. Time, time, time. See what's become of me. It's 1932. When I look still. around for my possibilities. Anyway, have you got? Have you heard about this guy, Adolf Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Been making this big ruckus in Germany lately. I say let it sort itself out. I don't like it when people get political. Mm. I say, make your movies. Make your make season four of It's a Wonderful Life. Why are you talking about politics? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, you're right. You're right. God, you're a star. I'm gonna. You really just, are. Just put a dick in my mouth. Yeah. Keep talking. Talk all you want, but put something in my mouth. Make it a dick. Hey, Superstein, can I pull you aside for a second? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about this Jimmy Stewart guy. He's why? He, he seems a little soft on Hitler. La la la, I wish I was sucking a dick. I'm in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I'm soft on Hitler. I'm no amount. Hard on Jimmy, dicks. let me tell you something. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you something here, Jimmy, okay? Let me tell you something, okay? And I don't, I don't like politics as much as the next guy. But this Hitler guy, he's bad news. Are you walking toward you, me while you're what? saying that? Oh, hello. Yeah, no, I ran over here to talk to you. <laughs> while you were screaming, I sprinted. Oh, I'm, I was a gold medal sprinter when I was in a high school. Anyway, I, I'm telling you right now, this Hitler is a bad guy. No amount of pleasure that you receive is going to make you escape from the, the inevitable tragedy that this guy is going to wreak on the world at large. Oh, jeez, I just want to entertain the nice people. I don't want to think about uh, no uh, uh, genocides. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to the party, Mr. Adolf Hitler. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, is from England. <laughs> you know, he was very influenced by the British Empire. I understand. He was I understand there's a party going on. Oh God, uh, Hitler! The, there's a burgeoning Hollywood film actors here. Oh God, Hitler! What are I you? Uh, I just came to have a good time. Wait, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. just a bit of catch up. Who is who in I'm this room? <laughs> I, I, I am oh, the new God. Chancellor of Germany, Oi, hey. Adolf Hitler. Oh, hello. Uh, Who I'm, are you? I'm yeah. Johnny. I, 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 I thought you were James Stewart, no? Is, is not, oh, wait, not, I, not, no. not, not the Nazi friendly actor, Jim Stewart? That's a different person. I thought you were. Uh, you know who I thought you were? I thought you were Errol Flynn, right? I, Wasn't well, he a I, spy? I thought we were changing scenes. We thought we do, we do, we do, uh, oh, and, and a different party we, we, scene so with, the, the, with Adolf Hitler and oh, I didn't know famous Hitler. German Johnny. I'm, I'm at the party now. Yeah, I came, came to the party. Oh, Hitler came to the party. Hitler came to the party. Okay, okay. Sorry. 
Zach, I thought we were Zach, cutting to Zach fucking can Hitler's be no house. Changing of characters now. All right, sorry. Everyone sorry. is who they were. Wow, you okay. thought we were cutting to Hitler's house, huh? Yeah. I t- I t- like, so. I'm, fuck, I'm a professional screenwriter. No, I'm like, no. this scene is 18 pages. Right. Like, no, like, it makes sense. Where's the monster? Where's the house? You know? Okay. I'm like. So in this, uh, like, in this, uh, enough trick so or treat. A little more. Hitler gets co- announced <laughs> by a German gibberish version of the British national anthem whenever he enters his house. Yeah, that's his. That's his door. Uh, his doorbell. Uh, <laughs> oh, and he I'm rings sorry. it whenever he opens. It is totally. It, it is totally act three. We are now in Germany, and J- J- Jim Stewart is now very famous. Oh gosh, I'm so glad to be Nazi famous. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an enormous fan of your film work. Oh I'm gosh, very, I'm, I'm very upset that. Oh, Shell, you should have said right something now. at some point. You should have given me some career advice. For tell God's me, sake. I don't tell know. me the name of your agent again. What is his name? Uh, Shell, Shell Rubin. Sh- Shell Rubin. <laughs> Shell Rubin. Shell Rubin. Shell Rubin. Uh, uh, Ru- Shell Rubin. Uh, Rubin Shell. Uh, 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 Benicio uh, del Toro. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Gerb- Gerbils, Gerbils Rubik. Gerbils Rubik. Gerbils uh, Rubik. I, nice to meet you. Can I? <laughs> nice to meet you. That's the German name of the world, Rubik. <laughs> the human puzzle. I'm Gerbils Rubik. Nice to meet uh, you. Very nice to meet uh, you. Uh, you know why they call him Rubik? He's against mixing colors. He thinks everything should be all the same. Uh, all six sides of your DNA. Oh, God. He's a Nazi. I find. Oh, yeah, that's right. I pull. Uh, I, yeah? I pull uh, Sup- <laughs> Superstein Ney Rubik aside and say, uh, Your friend seems a bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of got the hang up about the mixing of colors. I, I, I find that personally distasteful. You're not? You're not racist, huh? You're not racist. No, I'm not a racist. I'm just a, I'm just a, uh, you know, I just want. You know, I'm, a, I'm a pragmatist. <laughs> <laughs> a pragmatist. Huh? No, I'm, I'm fucking with you. I'm totally racist. Oh. <laughs> right, right, right. Oof. I always went. I almost went for that bait and told you I'm really a Jew. Oh, no, no, oh. no we, 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 we like to have fun here. Yeah, at, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Berghoff, we like to have a good time. Oh, that's uh-huh. good. <laughs> yeah. Wow, oh, look good. at all these columns. Yeah, nice, nice, what nice What the columns. fuck is that supposed to mean? Ah, it means Wait, you, what, 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 what? What, you want things to look like classic no, architecture? No, no you, sound, you sound like you're being ironic about that. Wow, you? look, I'd be lying if I said I wanted to, you know, I thought I'd end up with this as my job. I don't no, know. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of neoclassical architecture. What is, what is the problem yeah, with that? Yeah, I, I like washing dishes, but look how we end up. <laughs> Oh, I've got to tell you, Mr. Hitler. Can I, can I, can I ask you a question, can, Mr. Stewart? Can I ask you a question? Oh, go shoot away. When, when you were in uh, the Death of Liberty balance. balance well, uh, who could forget that? Right. Oh, uh, what a great picture, what, a wonderful what picture. F- what, what, what we can it, all agree on something, right? What was it like w- working with... <laughs> <laughs> When you were in the desert, Classic. Li- when you were in Liberty Valance, what was it like working with the great John Wayne? I've always wanted to know. What oh the, what gosh, you know John is—he's uh, a real trooper, and uh, you know um, uh, he liked to play practical jokes on the uh, cast. And uh, I'll be God, gosh darned if uh, he didn't—he uh, he, he, they always tell you when you get the trailers. They have toilets in them, but they tell you not to use them. Uh, you know, there's no, there's no water in them. Uh, it's a dry toilet. Uh, for God's sake, it's just the trailer. The toilet's there in case it is hooked up to a sump pump. I tried, or, to, I tried to get them a bucket of water, but they, they wouldn't budge. Yeah, John, John, Mr. Uh, uh, John, uh, he took a shit in my trailer and <laughs> just stuck to the dry plastic and... Uh, you know, I had been forewarned. Well, don't you, do you, that. You, you're telling me the great John Wayne took a shit in your honey wagon shitter? Yeah. That's why they call him the Duke. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Because he took a dookie in your thing? Yeah, because he took... Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Right. But it's, it was a practical joke. He took a shit in my dry toilet. Okay. A, Jimmy, can I talk to you for a yeah, second? Yeah, yeah, sir. Hold on a second. I got to talk to my agent. Look. 
Excuse us. It's so, right. so we gotta get the fuck Look, out. What the fuck are we doing? This is a goddamn do. Nazi Look, Germany. What the looked. fuck's going on? Well, you said you wanted to try out your new comedy routine yeah, on a rough God's crowd. Shell, I, I didn't thought mean who rougher this. than drunk. the most evil person who ever lived. You gotta get me the hell out of here. Okay, all right, I'll think of something. Oh, oh gee whiz. Hey, there's huh, swastikas hey. everywhere. Okay, even the sh- even the cake is shaped like a. Just hey, be an uh, actor. I don't even know be where a, to cut it. I be, see be you are. A, I see you are enjoying my swastika cakes. Oh I, yeah. yeah a, oh, we love them. We love them. Even, They're wonderful. Even to eat them is to be complicit in the deliciousness yeah. of fascism. Yeah, yeah. Well, very, I, I heard very, actually that symbol is used in some Native American uh, iconography. Oh, very good, very good. Anyway, right. you know, <laughs> uh, so we are not so very different to me and you, Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. No, no, no. Again, we can all agree on something. I, anyway, Chancellor, Mister Mister Rubik, I have dictator. just I, I have just <laughs> uh, got some information from my security team from the SD. <laughs> I've gone through your 23 and Me. It turns out that your name is actually Superstein. <laughs> <sighs> totally cool. Totally cool. He's referring to 1923 and Me, which is unreliable. Look. It's conducted through a can with a string. Look. You can deny it. Look, Mr. Hitler, that report, it's, it's, it's not true. It's not true. I had a whole, a whole thing with those people. I was going to make the biopic on the, 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 the genesis of, of 1923 and me, but it all fell through and they blamed me for it. And so they've been trying to, 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 to spread around that I'm a Jew, but I'm not a Jew. My name is not Superstein. They made all of that up. My name is Goebbels Rubik, and <laughs> I, I don't like, I don't like uh, anything that's not white. White, 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 white. and oh, more white, white okay? Oh. All white is all right. All white is That's all right. That's what I'm always saying. Anyway. We should get going. Yeah, we, gotta we got to go. A, we got we an gotta Uber. Go. We, got, we bought an Uber. Yeah, we bought Was that your Uber. idea? Uber. Uber. <laughs> Which were, there were every person who was named Uber in Germany at this time, <laughs> they, <laughs> they drove taxis. I, I, we've had an Uber good I, time I, here. It's a special I, I kind I of personally, taxi. I personally, I don't, I don't like the Ubers. I prefer the Lyft Waffe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yay. We're just we're just into a weird variety show sketch where <laughs> and, we're and into, Uber and sponsored like, ma- making an America fall in love with Hitler. <laughs> he's, just a, he's just a goofy character. Twenty three of me and <laughs> I like Uber the and Lyft. Hop hop. It's like the Benny Hill show, but oh. we're not too. all right. Well, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's important. Right, we gotta go. It's important that yeah. we we get out of here. We got a uh, we got we're due uh, back uh, in America uh, uh, to proud, tell everybody. Proud, proud boys uh, meeting. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna. We're very proud of us that we met you. Proud of everything. And that we got proud along so well. Oh, 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 you're going to hang out with the proud boys? Oh, we love everything. Yeah, you know, you know what we call them here in Germany? Regular boys. No, we call we call them Deutsch bags. <laughs> Okay, Hitler, you gotta stop. Like, <laughs> like you, 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 we're not, I'm we're not franchising a, I'm you. I'm like, trying to have a good time. We're trying to. We're, we run the risk of making you like Mogwai from the Gremlins. <laughs> like, like, we're not. We're not. We're not like into Gizmo. Like, you're not. Oh. We don't. We don't want people to start to wear Harmage Out T-shirts that have Hitler on them, smiling, and and he's got catchphrases that are fun to repeat and. <laughs> I th- it may be how this started in real Germany. <laughs> Probably started making fun of his hair and his mustache. I, and I, I, I didn't even invite you. You guys just came to my I know, house. I, didn't, like, I thought, geez, we got to get out of here. <laughs> let's get out. Let's go. Yeah, we have to go. You could have left any time We're taking wanted. the first no, Zeppelin well, we out of here. We don't want to be rude. We don't want to be rude. We uh-huh. wanted to show you, you know, uh, your due respect well, and whatnot. Want to be rude, Come you? on. I, got, I booked us on the Hindenburg. Let's get out of oh, here. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, Hindenburg. Uh, That's too soon. <laughs> it's, uh, I anyway, got your, I got your first class tickets. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You you don't have to buy me these tickets. It's very nice of you. Uh, you've been a great me. agent. I'm tired of this 10% nonsense. I, I, I owe you my life. I was we're washing dishes. Now, granted, we took a bit of a detour. I don't want to end up in Nazi Germany, but... Of course, no, and I really don't. But even here, yeah. aboard the Hindenburg, I got at back. least I'm not washing dishes. Right, sure. As you we go what? down in flames, yeah, we somehow survived. Hey, come on, let's get this cocksucking blimp moving! 
Oh, he said, hey, I don't care what it's filled with. Fill it with something lighter than air. I don't care what. Just fill it with the first inert gas. Well, then fill it with a non-inert gas. Just fill it with a gas. The first one you find on the periodic table. For God's sakes, these fucking krauts. <sighs> hey, you have a cigarette? Yeah, sure, here you go. Listen, you krauts, if you don't get this cocksucking lip Jimmy, moving... Jimmy. What? <laughs> Stop it. I'm sick of these Nazi pieces offensive. of shit. Fill your blimp with a first gas. All, the first one you find on the periodic all, table. Jimmy, I don't care how many electrons Jimmy, it needs. Jimmy, you're phrasing cocksucking is negative. That's the first mistake uh, there. Sh- for Super Steen, how do you think I got where I am? Sucking cock. <laughs> I, I'll tell but you this. Even uh, more the reason you shouldn't, you shouldn't use it in a negative way. It's well, a positive thing to help you get to where your career is. Well, you show me a today. society where you can admit sucking cock, and I'll be all out in the open. Until then, I've got to say, all aboard. <laughs> This is Mr. Gefford. I'm a famous radio historian. I'm here at the lodge of the Hindenburg, and I'm Jimmy, wake up, a- wake up! Wake up, Jimmy! Wake up! <laughs> wake up! Wake up, Jimmy! Wake up, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh. Jimmy! Oh, Shell! I had a horrible dream. Oh, I, I, dreamt, I, I dreamt I wasn't a star at all. I was a Nazi. You were there, and oh. the Hindenburg was there. I. I'm sorry I didn't wake you sooner. It's just uh, you had a massive heart on, so I thought we were having a, a pleasurable dream. I didn't think it was a nightmare. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, no. I, I'm sorry. That I didn't, yeah, so it was bad. It was bad, the dream. Yeah, I mean. Uh, but I was there. Yeah, you I were there. I was there in your dream. You were there, yeah. I'm that important to you. Also, yeah. I was there. So then, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think I'd invite you on this camping trip? <laughs> Why do you think we're all in the same tent together? Of oh, course, you're God. all important to me. Shell? Ooh. Adolf? <laughs> right. Let's get it's on this Gerbils. fucking hard on. It's Goebbels. It's Goebbels. Oh, it's your... It's Goebbels. Oh, you're right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get us some firewood. All right. Well, Adolf, look. <laughs> well, he's getting us firewood. I got to level with you here. I, I hope there's not going to be, I hope there's not going to be any alcohol at this party. As I I'm teetotal, I don't drink. Mm. No. no, there won't be. Do, there won't be. Just do, don't do, don't do, drink do, anything. Do, though. Do you know why I don't drink alcohol? Why? Because because I am an angry drunk. Oh, you're an angry drunk. Yeah. And when you're sober, you're not angry. Yes. <laughs> no anger when. No, I'm These not, days, or I'm, I'm feeling any quite, day recent I'm, I'm feeling quite relaxed. Oh, yeah. is that Jimmy Stewart chopping wood over there? Yeah, no, he just said he went over to chop yeah, wood. No, no, Jesus. I got three logs. He's I very, chopped very. out a tree and cut it into three logs. I used space work. But you'd have to subscribe to the podcast to know that. Anyway. There it is, a backpack with three logs in it. Ah, is that you get a Susan Knight? Say what? <laughs> I said that should get us through the night. Oh. You and I. Susan Shook Knight? Night? Through. <laughs> Who's Susan Knight? What? Huh? Should I represent her? <laughs> you, you, Susan I, Knight. I, I said that should get us through the night. Oh, through the night. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you should said that should get us Susan Knight. <laughs> Oh, my head's in the biz. I'm always thinking of deals. I thought for a second that maybe you guys were talking about some like movie. Collaboration together. Well, I'm going to take great. one of these logs and rub it on the other two is and that, make some fire. Is oh, that, great. Is it, is a real man, a real American here. Yeah. Or oh. I'm sure yes. you can do it too. Oh, like boy, it. This, is, <laughs> this is harder than they uh, make it look in the pictures. Yeah. Oh. oh, you've never done it before? No, yeah. I'm not oh, okay. doing it now. Yes. It's not working. That, that, I have to say, this is very good space work you're doing over there. So. Oh, thanks, Hitler. Oh. <laughs> Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Hey, uh, no, no, uh, we, 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 we need you here, Superstein. Rubik. <laughs> Look, we all know who you are. All right, fine, 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 fine. Uh, uh, if you're all right with it, I'm all right with it. Do you want to know my real name? What's your real name? Hitler. <laughs> so we can all be friends here in this tent. 
We can all camp together. We can all have a good time. It's just an agent from Hollywood and a famous to be actor and, and, a, and a potential uh, dictator of, uh, of Nazi Europe. We can all just. Oh, have this a good is why you're still chancellor. Huh? This is why you're still chancellor. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh. oh, gosh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no, yeah. oh the fire. What is happening? The I fire's could, too big. I the fire's too the big. Oh, my God. How do we put the fire out? Lighter fluid oh, God, I hate to do jet. this, but here. Throw I, these books. Oh, Don't get any throw ideas. All the books throw these books on the fire. <laughs> books will put out the oh. fire. <laughs> Why would you throw books on the fire to put a fire out? Because uh, they're, re like, they're like, really boring books, and it, I thought it would lure right, the fire right. to sleep. All right. Oh, God. I think you. Shell, wake up. Shell. Oh. Oh. Shell. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Shell. Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. Oh, that's a, wait, what were you going to plug? <laughs> oh. Brett, Brett came to plug something. Yes. Uh, see Room for Rent. <laughs> and uh, and uh, check out camping, everyone. Yeah. Brett Gelman, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Spencer Crittenden. And let's give it up for uh, Zach on sound and Nolan and Church and uh, Chris Boroff, everybody here helping us out. And uh, the, the, the lovely uh, Dynasty typewriter. Uh, I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis, and your mayor, Dan Harmon, everyone. <laughs> Drive fast, take chances. Did you get any of that? It's a good show!